Hey everybody, we're live. Uh, this is kind of an impromptu stream because apparently Rob is not coming on tonight. So I'm sitting here at the bench, so I'm going to start one up. And if he, for some reason, decides he's going to have a stream tonight, then I'll bow out and let him take over. But until then, uh, we're going to have a live stream and chat if, as soon as anybody shows up. Then hopefully we'll have a good old time. Get my big screen up here. So I can see. All right. Ain't a whole lot going on right this second. Um, hey, Michael. You know the drill. Uh, Rob, I guess, is not able to have a stream tonight, so I'm just going to pop one up if he... Uh, does decide to have one, I'll, I'll happily bow out, but, you know, I'm sitting here. Hey, Jason. This is an impromptu. He said it's an impromptu because Rob from Time Machine apparently is not going to have a live stream tonight. And I'm sitting here at the bench, so I figured I might as well start one up. Uh, the, chat is, the link to the chat is there. You're welcome, Jess. Yeah, uh, I keep seeing seeing you on on YouTube. Uh, the Target Lady ads. You've been you've been swallowing UPC labels and stuff. Uh, I keep seeing keep seeing your your ads for the Target Lady. Yeah, I watched, I watched your video just before I came on. It sure looks like you. Kind of acts like you, too. The target lady. Hey, Kevin. We're just doing an impromptu live since uh, apparently Rob's not having his, and I'm, I'm at the bench, so we might as well, huh? I got the got the link at the top of the chat, so anybody wants to can hop in. I'm gonna work on the uh, 60 Chevy some more. Do some little touch up touch ups on it, and then start putting it together. I got my uh, clear coat on. It's not as smooth as I'd like it, but it's smooth enough for what I want, need, and what need. Uh, this is not supposed to be a show truck it's just a shop truck so it's good enough for what what i got going on with it um, so we're going to start i just just glued the tail lights in and chrome the uh the um, tailgate latches and so we'll uh let those dry for a little bit then we'll start putting it together and it's also got we could probably start on on the uh, cap stuff, cap section. We got to put our putting our glass and our mirror and all that good stuff in there. Hey, Big Charlie, you're welcome to join on on the live stream. Hey, Bruce, you guys know the drill. Hi, Boston. Oh yes, I use the uh, the blue cap, the Gorilla Glue. So you you were using the green, the gel stuff. I don't use that. I use the blue. And I think there's two different kinds of blue. I think there's an XL. Yeah, there's a. Or it's just an extra large bottle, I guess. But I use the blue. For my. For my super glue. Yep, it's a happy, happy, joy, joy snail day. I think the green is the thicker stuff. The more of the, the gel, I think. I'd have to look it up to be sure. Um, 
but I think the I think the green it might be the gel. And there's a yellow one too that I think a yellow one is the one that has the uh, the built-in brush. But you'd have to look on Google to see what if there's any real difference between them. But I know that I think the green one is a gel. But don't quote me on that. In fact, I bought me a bought me a new bottle today when I was at the hobby shop, the hobby of lobbies. But bought that and bought a new bottle of of the clear UV resin. My other one's not empty yet, but very well it was there, and it was forty uh, percent off on have hobby stuff this week. So I got got that and. I also grabbed up another one of the six ninety nine uh, car cases because my brother uh, snagged two of them. I gave him uh, two of my cars, so he got ended up with two of my cases. So I bought another one. And since it was forty percent off, and this was they had this one in the uh, the tin box, I went ahead and went ahead and grabbed it. I don't know if I'll ever build it, but I went ahead and grabbed it. And I got me some primer and some clear coat and some black, gloss black. We should all check together and send uh, send Jess a stripper around for her birthday. Hey, Andrew, how are you tonight? Good. I put I put your airplane stands in the mail today. You should get them in three or four days. Probably Monday. Maybe Saturday, but probably Monday. Um. In the store I was in today, Bruce, they were in in the aisle next one over from where the model kits were, uh, the were by the puzzles. But I can't guarantee they were remont re removing everything around in that whole back section of the store when I was there today. Uh, so they may not they may not uh, be in the same spot when you get there. Uh, and. Uh, Bruce, if you haven't already, make sure you sign up for their email because I did get an email this week on the free shipping, but it was only on Sunday this week. Or the, the Sunday just passed. But yeah, these were across the aisle from the puzzles. They had all uh, all all the sizes they had in stock. You still working on your Spitfire tonight, Andrew? Or are you just hanging out? Nothing yet. Okay. I'm working on my Chevy truck. Get ready to put the window glass in. Hey, Ted. I was thinking more of the ones in the in the black spandex and the in the bow tie, but yeah, some alternate strippers. Or some totally awesome. Everybody on when you're on YouTube, if the Target commercial comes up, tell me that's not just like Jess, the Target lady. Mm. 
No crop dusting, Jess. Remember, zone every other package upside down so the Australians can read them. If you're gonna crop dust, just crop dust the canned goods this time instead of the instead of the crackers. We might actually have this truck done in time to go to the show on Sunday. Possibly, maybe. I don't have any problems with the final assembly anyway. It shouldn't. It's, everything so far has gone together really nice. It's got uh, some flash on it, but what, you know, flash is easy to deal with. Say, yeah, well, one can I tell, but you're probably already gone and come back. Let's go a little bit bigger. Let's go up one more size. Nobody wants to come in and join join me and Andrew. I guess not. Well, we'll just have to keep ourselves occupied, I guess. by saying hello to each other. Hey, Kevin. Mouse there, there it is. There's Kevin. I'll be He's hanging here. outside. You letting the dog drive no, again? Yep, yeah, out riding around the neighborhood again. Get out with the dogs on the wheelchair scooter. At least tell the Wi Fi or whatever knocks us off. So if I disappear, you'll know why. Yep, well, are you that or the dog drove you out in the traffic? One or the other, right? <laughs> I hope not. Between the two of them, they might weigh 15 pounds. <laughs> Ankle biters. Well, I know, but you had them driving a the chair the other night. Yeah. 
there either. How you doing, Andrew? Good. Good. Uh, you have to work in the morning. I'm sorry about that. I wish it, well, I kind of wish I had to work in the morning, but yeah, it don't it don't suck not working, does it? Well, sometimes it does. I mean, yeah, I miss. It's kind of nice to have a place to go and something to do every day, and yeah, I miss the, all the free stuff I used to get. Yeah, I miss I miss hanging out with all of my coworkers and stuff. I guess. Yeah. I still talk to him once in a while, but not nearly. Yeah, when I was when I was working, I didn't have to buy screws, nails, wood, or anything. Being in a cabinet shop, I'd go and ask him. They'd say, "Just go take what you want. Leave me alone." <laughs> okay. Ended up with a new kitchen. Like one lady, one lady I worked with, her kids. I've known her kids since they were basically toddlers. Yeah. They still all call me Uncle Bob every time they see me. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Bob's your uncle, right? Yeah. Of course, I don't have popcorn chicken for him anymore. Oh. They always come hit me up for free popcorn chicken. Yeah. yeah I got to wait and see what these people are doing with this big dog before I can go anywhere. That's the only problem, having little dogs. You gotta watch people with big dogs. Maybe we'll go the other way. We had one of our dogs attack a couple years ago, and that wasn't good. No rich. A lot of traffic today. All right. Ready, Billy? Yeah, they're going the other way. Finally got our grass cut today. Man, it was almost a foot long. Yeah, I took my brother and cut mine last week. Yeah. Well, we we already paid my brother to do it for the season, and his, his truck broke halfway on the way here. I never seen a wheel bearing break in half like his did. The whole wheel flew off. I guess that's common with those Dodge Dakota pickups. He had the last one go a couple years ago the same way. So why didn't you replace them both while you was at it? I guess that's a problem when you pay a whole season ahead. He, he thinks he don't have to do it every week. <coughs> Ours can usually go about every two weeks, every other week, even in the summer. Yeah. Because when the pecan trees fill in, it's so much shade, especially in our backyard, that yeah, it doesn't grow real fast. <coughs> our front yard I can do with the weed eater because it's only – Oh. 10 by 10 square on each side of the house. Yeah. We live yeah in old... so... Mine, mine's just big enough to be too much. I can do the front. That's about it. It's too small for a tractor and too big for me. Being an old old farmhouse, it was actually here before the city streets were in. So the it's only like it's only about fifteen feet from the end of my front porch to the street. Oh. So I don't have a whole lot of front yard to mow. Right. So I do. We can do it with a weed eater. Okay. But the back is a different story. So my brother usually comes and does that. Yeah, that's one thing I don't miss about living in the trailer. We had a little. One strip and you were done. Or manufactured home, like Marcy calls it. Yeah. But 
Yeah, that's the yeah, first piece. We're going to drop out here. Okay. We'll be here all night. So. We'd be here all evening. As soon as I get near that 5G pole, it's going to knock me out. But they got about every block. For some reason, it knocks us out. Any update on the Don today? I haven't heard. I didn't. I didn't ask Jeff when I talked to him earlier. I didn't even think to ask him. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably going stir crazy, laying in a hospital bed. Oh, uh, tell now. me about it. Man, I was in three days. I didn't get no whole time. Those were just basic television that they have, and there ain't nothing else to do. Yeah. I guess he's got his phone so he can he can YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. I'm working on that 60 Chevy pickup. Mark. The Zachers Garage yeah, one. Looks, looks like you're close to buttoning it up, huh? Yeah, I'm working on the final final stuff right now. I uh, I just chromed the uh, the tailgate fasteners. And got the tail lights put in. Uh, got the bumpers ready to go with the license plates on them. Yeah. Uh, still get, so basically, I'm working on putting the glass in, and then I'll start assembly. If I don't run into any issues, I should have it d done tonight. Yeah. Yeah, you'll find out. Huh? <laughs> That's how I always so far, I always just, so far oh, the rear window is really tight, but I, I got it to go in. So we'll see how the rest yeah. of them go. Try to catch them beans, fella. You got stung before doing that. I don't need to get stung. I'll paint those. Why not? They ain't gonna see them, but I'll paint. I'll paint the sun visors anyway. Thanks, go. Mark. It's uh, Tamiya Pearl Yellow and Tamiya Pearl White. Yeah, that's the nice same colors color. I used on the 55 Bel Air. <coughs> yeah, that's one thing I never messed with was the headliners of mine. If you look at any of my models, it's raw plastic up there. Is that a one-to-one -one or a car kit? Jeff. So I was just saying in, in general, any of my no. builds, I never do the head one. Yeah. Oh, Jeff said he's at, he's at an auction trying to win a 69 Roadrunner for a putz of a friend. Wow. Uh, so is it a kid or is it a one-on-one? -on -one? One-to-one. And that lady was in a hurry. Come flying past me, blowing the horn. Yeah, some people can't get home ten seconds. Ten seconds later, you know, they got to be be total jerks. Man, she, had a, she had a carload of kids with no seat belts. She's probably going fifty. Of and 20. That's the ones I always afraid going to come flying up over the hill when I'm crossing. Let's see if I stick with you. Get close to that pole now. Okay. If I disappear, you'll know what happened. <laughs> come on, Billy. Seems like, it seems like it would get better when you got closer to the tower. Yeah, maybe. Maybe so. Usually, if I'm just watching in the chat, it, it keeps skipping and everything. That's weird. Yeah, the picture's even clearer, huh? Yeah, we got nice weather here today, boy. Don't get any better than that. Just that he paid that lady to try to run you over. 
<laughs> Probably so. It looked like it might have been some of his people. It looked like some hillbilly. <laughs> I better watch, huh? There's plenty of them around here, including me. Me, myself, and I. <laughs> Yeah, I like how uh, I remember to put a film Josh Rysom used the, the picture for of Jeff getting run over at Acme for his uh, thumbnail for for Saturday's Meet the Modeler. Yeah, I keep skipping out for you. I'm just trying to keep my distance from them people with that dog. Well, if you drop out, you know where to find us. Yep. I sit here and watch these people play volleyball. These Nepali, they get like a hundred of them down here in the park and they set up for volleyball. It's kind of fun watching them, actually. Them guys can sure play their sport. <sighs> There might be 150 of them down there, actually. Yeah, our rocket scientist city council decided that uh, we didn't get it cold enough long enough to, to justify keeping the ice rink in the park. Oh, really? Even though we, it was a basketball rink, basketball court, slash ice yeah. rink slash roller roller skating rink so they decided to bust up all the concrete and make a sand volleyball thing out of it uh. they took half our tennis courts and they turned them into pickleball courts That's what they had to do here because nobody uses a tennis court. That's the thing here. The city of Akron decided to tear our community park building down and build a new one. And the old one was maybe 35 years old. They're, they're in the middle of putting up the new one. That's quite a mess over here. Yeah, well, it's, it's only 68 years old. <laughs> They took a general purpose year round available for all kinds of stuff site and they just met, turned it into one thing a giant cat litter box. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, all of a sudden, all the cats in our neighborhood are slowly disappearing. I don't know what's going on. Don't make me sad. I don't care if people have them in their house, but keep them there, you know. Then they come and tear up our flower beds and everything. Steak. Piss all over your car and everything else. Yeah. I don't let my dogs run. You know? Hey, Chuck. We got plenty of room if you want to come in. We're just hanging out, filling in for, for Rob. I'm working on my yeah, 60 Chevy. Not, not the best company here. Yeah, you're better than nothing. People around me and everything else. Uh, otherwise, I'd just be talking to myself because Andrew has dropped yeah. out. Yeah, I see that. Of course, I, it's getting kind of late for him, but it's almost 8 o'clock for him. I think I'm going to end up dropping out here. Let's see if it stays in. Keep skipping. There's Chuck. There's Marcy. Chuck. Hey, Marcy. Hey, How are you doing? Hey, doing Mark. pretty good. How's things going with Don? I haven't heard today. 
Jeff is here, he should be able to answer that question. I was out dealing with things myself today. Yeah, I have not heard, but Jeff's in the chat, so if he's heard anything, he can probably give us an update. My back is currently acting like another part of my body. I oh, eat an asshole. <laughs> mine has been killing me all day, but we've got cold front and storms moving through here again today, so. I'm sure that's not helping me any either. No. But, yeah, yeah this is round two with sciatica. Oh, joy. I live pretty much as pain level seven all the time. Goes hmm. above that. Seven. Seven. That's a tickle to me. Unfortunately, I have an extremely high tolerance. So uh -huh. by the time I actually do finally feel it, it's yep. long past what they consider normal. The yeah, rest of my body gets yeah, involved. My blood pressure goes up and everything. And it just doesn't register physically to me until it's really bad. Yeah, I've been on pain management for my back since 2011. We get a runny nose, we're done for. I know guys that resemble that remark. Yes. <laughs> That's that something is. that is not really a big deal. I very seldom get sick. When I do, I'm down to the count. Yep, I know how that goes. Oops, sorry guys. He broke it. <laughs> I broke it again. <laughs> What'd you break it now, Bruce? I click on the button and... I thought it was muted, and I clicked the live button, and it's not muted. I'm a hopeless mess. You get her eventually. Yeah, well. I'm a hopeless mess. <laughs> you get her eventually. Somebody's up the lane. Somebody's using speakers, and not me. What is wrong with this damn stupid, stupid computer? It's not the stupid computer. I think it might just be the end user. Well, it's probably in you, Operator yeah. headspace. <laughs> yes, I don't know. It's just this box acts weird sometimes. I'm about ready to reformat the hard drive and start over. Yeah, good way I'll to clean house it. once a year. That's what I do. Yeah, I'll, I'll whole, fix it. Dump what you want onto a drive and erase the whole damn thing. Yeah. Well, when I do that, I just put in a new SSD drive and I. Use that reformat that one, use it for storage. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so it's still good. You know, you can store stuff on it that you, you know, don't care if something happens to it. Just, you know, back up. Yeah, I believe you in back up. That, you back want up, back up, solid, back up. You know? <clears throat> Well, this is all parts now. Mm. Oh, crap. That's what I thought earlier, Marv. I had to take a nap this afternoon. Oh, the doctor gave me muscle relaxers, and they just make me tired. I'm not as yeah. tired. I'm My sister has no, one of those. No, no, no bugs to a muscle relaxer. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, I won't have any reactions to this muscle relaxer. I've never taken this one before. I I forget what the hell it was. They gave me a muscle relaxer when I first and I walked around like a rubber band man. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, this is you just take this one two times a day, so it's a you know twelve hour. Or fenugreek. 
O-R-P-A-T-N-A-D-R-I-N-E. Yeah, I think the one that hit me the hardest was Flexerol or something like that. I yeah, can't that, use that one. Yeah, that did me the same way. No, that, I had a really bad reaction to that. I don't know. I got, like, barf sick from that one. <laughs> yeah, it hit my stomach. It hit my stomach. Yeah, it, it, it went in and it came right back out. No, nope. that kind of thing. <laughs> Can't take that one. <laughs> well, I got a 289 engine to do something with. And I got Mustang wheels to do something with. And a All kinds of ex exhaust system to do something with. Yeah, I'm glad you gotta be that way. <laughs> what did you just say now? <laughs> Why not, Jeff? It's empty. It ain't gonna hurt anything. <laughs> well, maybe the desk. Might dent the desk. Yeah. <laughs> my my desk came out of the trash trash barrel. Just make sure that the pepper pieces are super small. They don't always chop them up good, and the seeds are inside of them. My kid's doing dinner for me tonight. He likes the grill, so he's fired up the grill to do sausages outside. Yeah, I pulled the grill out the other day there. Been cooking on it since. <laughs> Shit, we've been cooking on it a while now, yeah. Mine's under the carport. Well, we don't have a carport or anything like that. At the old house, we had a garage, and we used to freaking barbecue in the wintertime. <laughs> yeah. That's what my son does. He pulls out the smoker in the grill and he just yep. opens up both garage doors. Yep, that's what we used to do. <laughs> or if it was storming and we wanted barbecue, fuck that, go in the yeah. garage. <laughs> Neighbor caught him one time asking if his house was on fire. Like, nope, just cooking meat, dude. Yeah. Dinner's at, dinner's at seven. Come on by. <laughs> BYOB, you know? At work here, a couple of years ago, we took it. We had a uh, bear roast that we're putting that smoker. Yeah, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> Boss comes in and he's, whoa, what are you guys cooking now? <laughs> and then we got in trouble because there's a bare head in the refrigerator. Took it off. Uh, the guy that killed the bear, he took it and did it. He wanted to save the head to get it stuffed, but he didn't have no room in his freezer because of all the bear meat that he you know, got from it. Yeah, he tagged a good walking <laughs> meal and then had nowhere to store it so he could get a taxidermy properly. Yeah. My grandpa did that a couple times. He put a freaking full deer head in the freezer to the shit out of my grandma. She forgot it was in there and went down. <laughs> the <freezer laughs> opened it up and she's like, ah! <laughs> yeah, the superintendent is there like, is it true I hear there's a bear head in the freezer up there? <laughs> like, yeah. He says, we need to get that out of there. Yeah, yeah. It's not something you keep at work, but <laughs> it was a good good that they could help him save it until he could get it out of the Hey, Corey, Mike. Hey, guys. And then mini mic. Give it to Mikey. Mikey, it. Mikey likes everything. <laughs> you <laughs> can try it. You try it. That was an awesome commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Sticks in our heads because we saw it every 10 freaking minutes through our whole program. No, the other one was the Wendy's woman there. I'm falling and I can't get up. Where's the, the only yeah, that one was funny. 
the only one that's like truly stuck in my head is the Oscar Mayer Bologna song. Yep. Yeah, I'm well, we used to sing that sing word that for word. <laughs> you sing that going down the highway. Even my dad yeah, chimed in. It's the Meow Mix commercial. Yep. Meow, 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 yeah. meow, 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 meow. And the one I always tell you, Ryan, when uh, the, and there's one older than those. It was Tyler 87100. It was a, a, a home repair place. And I remember the character, I remember the guy in the commercial saying the phone number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, JG one word, yep. <laughs> but now, if you look at the newer commercials, they're doing so much dumb crap in the commercial, you don't even notice what the product is. You're just flabbergasted that the humans are so stupid. <laughs> Amen. Like, what, what did you just try to sell me? But that was funny. <laughs> don't squeeze the Charmin. <laughs> I'm getting all the Target Lady commercials right now. And I, every time I see them, it makes me laugh because I'm thinking about Jess. Oh, is that where that's coming from? Okay. The Target Lady commercials, yeah, <laughs> on YouTube. Yeah, I just watched your video. That was cute. I liked it. She got a lot of neat stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she got, got a lot of modeling stuff. I like when people buy supplies. That's, that's like the perfect gift. And I use, that I or, use or a gift card to my favorite shop, you know. That, that. I use that duper color primer too. And believe it or not, I found this one at Ollie's, and it's the only time I've ever found it. I've got I've got a bunch yeah, of them. Yeah, Ollie's just gets end lots. You get lucky. I got some military colors. When you see it there, you got to buy it there. Right. What? I got some of the small can rattle cans of Tester's military colors at Ollie's for like a dollar a can. Oh They're yeah, like all we got was a black in black the store, and it's like I got the black and the camo and the brown. I went through black, all the black cans there. camo, camo green, and and the brown can, whatever. I went through all them cans there. The camo paint there from testers. And the only thing they had there was the black, the flat black. Yeah, I got three of the colors, and I'm happy with that. I got two of each for a buck a piece. They're like nine dollars a can, you know, regular price. So yeah, hello. I'm gonna buy ten cans at a dollar a piece. You know I am. Yeah, that can was two dollars and twenty cents. Oh, well that that's a fifteen dollar can wherever I buy it. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, uh, the ones I got here, I think went for a dollar ninety. Hang on, let me check before I say that. Yeah, I called today. Got any new models? No. Getting, getting, getting do Pompeii? No. Okay. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye. Have a good day. Don't work too hard. <laughs> yeah. Why, why drive 18 miles when I just make a phone call? Right. And <laughs> I, I personally prefer to do that myself. I won't drive anywhere. I don't have to. And what pisses me off is the few places that are a fair distance that I would normally go to. If I was going for more than one item, you call and they don't have anybody that can come to the phone and tell you what's in the building. What what the yeah. hell? You know, I don't want to look at your website. I don't want to order it and have it shipped to me. I I I need to speak to a human that can walk to aisle fourteen, yes. look in bin I, six, and tell me if there's anything in it. Right. <laughs> I, I like that they can go into the store and actually see what it is I'm buying before I buy it. <laughs> and that for most things too, yes. I want to touch it. Well, this was yeah, the exactly. primer was two ninety nine, and the color cans was a dollar twenty nine. Yeah. Yeah, and I keep looking over in the automotive section; they don't have anything over there either. Yeah, you gotta gotta keep an eye out because they get yeah. stuff periodically. Why did I was looking for? Uh, Something in the stationary section, which is on the other back side of the. These cans were two ninety nine. That's These how are I like forty five dollar cans here. Mm -hmm. Wow! I just happened to turn around and look, and there was that can sitting. I grabbed that sucker. Mm. 
Usually when I find one of something, I start searching. Yeah, there's got to be at least one more somewhere in the building. Exactly. <laughs> then I start flagging people down. You got any more of this? Got any more of this? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was at a place where I found it. Where would I find the stuff? What I, I found it. In? Yeah, I told her, I said, well, I found it stationary. She went, well, Paige right across from it. I said, yeah, I know. But it was sitting in the stationary. <laughs> I'd like to find out who it is that keeps going into Ollie's and buying all the model kits before I get a chance to get there. I know the two guys. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. got a, a, a running war. They sell them online. <laughs> I got a running war with the collectors around here with that. But these guys don't resell them. They buy them for personal use. They go right. in there and they hoard them, which is bullshit. Yeah, the one guy told me, he said, oh, I buy them for kids. I'll give them away to kids. No, I'll okay, believe that sure. when I see it on video and the bright yeah, smile that money in the store. cutting them boxes open and doing it themselves. No, he, he's reselling them. He's lying. And that guy's a truck driver. And he says, yeah, he says, I get them for, uh, for uh, the neighborhood kids. I'm going, uh-huh, sure. Uh -huh. You guys are friends, right? Yeah, he's the neighborhood kid he's buying them for. Yeah, well, then you get on eBay, you, they don't even take the damn stickers off. Yeah, yeah, and they jack them up to ridiculous prices. Like, what are you kidding yep. me? Bro, I know you paid $10 for that. <laughs> uh-huh, yes. Uh, there's a store in uh, Bedford yeah. and uh, Evansville. And they stopped those two guys from coming in and buying models. Yeah, we got a couple of guys up here. It must be as soon as it comes out on the edge, they're down there buying them. Oh, yeah. There have been, been, been a couple people. There have been a couple people that have been um, banned from my alleys for hoarding. And I, can, I know two people that work there now. And I know what days their trucks come in. So that early, early that morning, I just call first thing and go, hey, you know, to my friend, dude, yeah. keep an eye out. And you know where we stash, where we stash them. And he'll hide them in the store for me. <laughs> they did, I, only they want, did I only want one or two of them, you know? Yeah, they did that I don't once. Want 10 of them. They did that once here. They took and they put it in a different spot than what they normally was. And that was the only time that I found a variety of kits. Usually you get the one speed racer kit that's left or something along that line. Yeah, or the one ugly snap kit police yeah. car. <laughs> or one of those cheesy military kits that's barely a tank. Or the Jeep. Or the Jeep, yeah. I have all of them, actually. I got them just to, to play with them and to have random parts to fiddle with. Somewhere they'll end up, you know, in a diorama or on something or... You know, some eventually they'll get used to some project. Yeah, I call there. They're also for, good test dummies, too. I always ask for Ralph when I call there because he's my guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ralph, you any kids? No. Yeah, pretty much. That's the phone call I make. You know, it's only 15 minutes down the road, but, you know, I'm not going to drive down there if they don't have what I want. Right. You know, if it I'm cruising be. through town and I'm doing other things and I happen to go past Ollie's, then sure, yep. you know, I'll, I'll drop in and take a cruise around and see what they have because I don't always just get model stuff there. I, I randomly buy things like bath towels. When they get a, a good yeah. shipment in and they got the prices down oh, below yeah. the normal price, I'll buy oh, a stack yeah. of bath towels. We go through a lot of them, especially you know, with the dog. We just, we just recently got a king size bed just before I retired here, and yeah, we went to Ollie's to get the yeah we went to Ollie's sure. to get the sheets and the, the comforter and stuff for yeah, it. Yeah, they have tons of bedding <laughs> all the time. Yeah, and, they do. And it's it's you know. For what you pay for it, you're sleeping on it. You're not, you know. Right. I use the rest of dog bed. That too. You know, and it's like I was saying about with Dixie, she loves fleece, fleece blankets. And fleece blankets aren't cheap. No. And Ollie's gets them all the time. I pay like the most I ever paid for a blanket was $10. And, 
you know, comparing it to stuff that we sell where I work, that was like a twenty or thirty dollar blanket. Right. So it's a considerable difference. And all she's going to do is lay all over it, chew on it, do gross things to it, tear holes in it, and get a new one. <laughs> you know, because she's a dog. Dogs do that. Right. But she just she loves her fleece, and I'm not willing to spend thirty dollars on a blanket. I know it's going to not survive very oh, long. Yeah. <laughs> and she's only two years old. She doesn't know she's not supposed to eat her bed. <laughs> Our dog's getting old, and she has a problem with drooling lately. Here, so do I. <laughs> Every day. Make sure your teeth are in straight, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Uh, we got her. They took in uh, place down the down the ways here. Took in they uh, had thirty something dogs in the house in a single wide trailer. Wow! Okay. And they they got told uh, they had to get rid of X number of them, and we ended yeah, up taking like her all but one. Yeah, well, I think they let them have three in the end. Most parks only allow one or two. Yeah, no, this was this wasn't a the small, you know, middle size to small dogs. Yeah, this wasn't a park. They were on their own lot of land. This was the uh, health department pet SPCA. Hey, Jonathan. They, they were the ones that were uh, telling them they had to get rid of the dogs. I said they, gonna, they didn't get rid of so many of them. They're going to bring them up on charges. Yeah, because there's no way you can take care of that right. Yeah, you are only allowed a lot of places you only allow so many without a kennel license. Right. Yeah. yeah, I believe most counties it's four here. Any more than four, you have to. And you have to maintain permit facilities for anything more than that. Hey guys. Hey Jonathan. So yeah, my day was mostly. I went to the. After I was able to get my knees off my chest and stand up, I got up and made dad breakfast and got him his meds and all that. And then I rolled down to the urgent care to see a doctor about my back. And, you know, they're all great. I, there's one urgent care that's closer to me that they're horrible people. I, I wouldn't send anybody to them. Um, so I went to a different one on the, across town. And it was worth the drive. Excellent staff, nice building, everything's clean. It, just, it didn't even look like an urgent care when you walked in the front door. It looked like you're walking into an office. Right. It's really yeah. a nice, well done building. And, no, you know, I get my, the, the doctor forwards my prescription digitally to the pharmacy. So by the time I drive from the clinic, to my store to my pharmacy it should be ready right yeah well so i'm tootling down the road i end up in a traffic jam and i figured i'm gonna use the hands free on my phone and i clicked the button on the steering wheel and gave the pharmacy a holler and oh well we have the one prescription but we may or may not have the other one available until monday i'm like no no i can't have one without the other they Balance each other together. out to help yeah. the problem. You know this. this. This is your job. You are a pill pusher. This is your job. You know. Well, but I, I, I four times I get put on hold. The bitch finally comes back, and I'm like, "Look, I'm not driving all over Dodge. I'm not taking the prescription and going to another facility. I can't sit in the car and drive all afternoon and deal with all this bullshit." And expect to be able to stand up after being in the car for so long. Plus, I have someone here at home that, that needs me here. I need this stuff yesterday. Yeah. Oh, well, it's after 4 o'clock and we're not going to be able to get a hold of your doctor. I'm like, listen, bitch. I went to urgent care. They're there till 8 p.m. Make the call. <laughs> so she called and got a substitution for the... Uh, the one medication that they didn't have. 
you know, she'd be all well and good to leave to go because if the order wasn't placed tonight, there wouldn't be a chance of the medication that I need being in tomorrow's shipment. And if it didn't show up in that shipment, I'd be screwed till Monday. I'd be in the yeah. ER by, you know, Friday afternoon. Yeah. For me, my pain medicine, I got to, it causes sleeplessness. So I got to take another medicine to help me go to sleep. And if I don't, I don't sleep. And then I, you know, it makes it so you end up hurting more. And, so, uh, I got a new kit uh, that my dad got me from a guy at his work that that he found in a barn. It's a 1970 Mustang Mach 1. Ah, cool. Cool. One small problem. I don't have a body nor a chassis. That's all right. So it's parts. There are parts. Parts is parts and pieces is pieces. I got frame parts. I got two uh, full motors, rims. Now, I do have some like body parts stuff. Just I don't have a frame. I was hoping there was a frame. My dad knew there was no body. But he didn't see where there was a frame. Well, there's no frame, so. Well, now's as good a time as any to learn how to build one. <laughs> yeah, take and put the engine it, together. Then when you take and you find something to put it in, you got it all set to go. This is a kit from 2007. Is when this. Yep. this 124 scale. Yeah, it's based on the old monogram kit. Yep. Make it either the Mach 1 with the 351 in it or make it the Boss 302. No, it's, uh, the original kit had the 429 in it. It was this one. <laughs> then they did a 302 Boss, and then they did that Mach, or when it became Revell, they did the Mach 1. I'm just Me guessing, too. but I bet if you want to, like, on Jimmy Flintstone, there's probably some kind of a cool body that would fit on that. Oh, outlaw, it was not willingly. It was my back being an asshole, like I said. Yay! Plastic! Exactly. Got it for that right there. Widen and extend my 67 Pro Street Chevelle frame to fit the Impala body. All right. Now, the very first question about this build is where to begin? <laughs> In the middle. <laughs> I always start with the anything. That's probably just a habit from the directions actually having it to be the first step 99% of the time. Here's the motor that's going to go in it. That uh, hit me. Hey, Finnegan put a Hemi in the 55, so I guess you could put it in the power. Sure, why not? And uh, thank you uh, for uh, sending me the, well, you're going to be sending me the mare brushes, uh, Bruce, a.k.a. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's sitting on the dresser ready to go out in the morning. All right. Now uh, let uh, Lucy and Andrew know that they don't have to send the airbrush because that's going to send some uh, an airbrush to me. Yeah, well, along with a model kit. So, somebody, somebody, somebody sending you something, take it. Yeah. yeah. No matter what it is, and if it's something you can't use, you can always pass it along to somebody else. I bought it brand yeah. new, and then I decided to change lanes and went to gallery and bought all those. Those are gallery airbrushes, so I've never opened it. I don't need it. It's been sitting on my shelf for a year. 
So you you can get better use out than I will. Yeah. Never airbrushed before, so. Yep. There's a little bit of a curve, learning curve to it, but you'll get it. Yeah. Yep. Probably just practice on like random uh, part. The best way to practice is just get a paper towel and some food coloring. You start spraying food coloring through it till you get used to spraying it. Yeah, yep. or you can use like um, little kids watercolor paint. Yep, something that's easy to. It's not gonna have to, not gonna clog the brush up at all. Yeah, basically tinted water. Yep, and you learn how to do the different lines and stuff. Then uh, I'm gonna use a Irish or Iris uh, purple on the Paula body in the hood. Things should look good. And you want to have a wing painted the same color as it. Now, my interior, I'm not sure what I'm going to paint it. Not sure if I want to do like a black or just do it purple to match the body or whatever. Might do the, the roll bar purple. Purple, black, and chrome. Then I may or debating on if I'm wanting to just paint the entire motor like chrome and all that or some like black part stuff or paint the engine block uh, in orange. And then uh what I have to probably wait until my frame is extended and uh, widened to see about uh how the interior is gonna go. Which way I'm thinking probably what I'm gonna have to do is uh once I get it extended and how I want it, probably like to use the door panels and the dash from the Impala. Put it in there. I was just gonna basically uh build it up as from the Chevelle kit and just stick it in there. But there we go, like the interior and all that, but probably not gonna work. It'll be too narrow. So be right back. Okay. Hey Kevin. Hey Mini Mike. Hey Terry too. Hey This motor part stuff here on this old platform thing. All that test. Well, well, some of it's like a an extra blower or whatever. Put <sighs> a hole in the hood scoop. I'm looking for that blower. So, probably going to start off by cutting off the fender wells on both the Prevail Pro Street frame and the Impala body. It's probably in real life, but they probably have fender wells because that'll be uh, less weight. <clears throat> and, and also, too, that'll be more room for the motor as well, so, and the exhaust. Oh, come on, we can get to the very last, and now I'm gonna fit. <laughs> That's the way the wind blows. <laughs> I've had this part on her ten times. Now I'm now I got to well, go. Don't want to go. Go in. If I remember right, when I built that kit, Bob, I think I had problems with. Uh, I think. 
the bed trying to get it lined up. Like I had to use like a toothpick to use it to try to raise it up a little more or something. For some odd reason, it wouldn't go. Other than that, it turned out nice. Cause mine's all blue with a br uh, brown bed. What is that? The fifty-five Chevy? No, it's, no, it's like not. Sixty Chevy. Sixty Chevy. Okay. All right. Where's the torch at? What you got going on there, Bruce? Well, this is a tanker project I started five years ago. I took two milk tankers, put them together to make a longer tank, got the back end out where the valves were, had it had doors and stuff on it. I didn't want them on because it's a it's gonna be a tanker dump truck for fire department. And then oh, I a water tanker. Yeah, then I stretched the frame a whole bunch. It only used to be this long. And there's, it's going to be a cab over, and there's the cab. And here's all the interior parts. And more parts. So I'm trying to remember where I was at that I was doing. Uh, here's the panels. I'm cut, I got one of the panels cut out. It goes over the rear ends. And that's the Toolbox on the back side. I got to do this side yet. So that's kind of where I'm at. I was trying to figure out where I'm at and what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but the chassis is all done. Except for putting it in the drive shaft. This is for my fire department I'm making someday. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I got I got the pumper done, and I got a ladder truck that I got off of eBay. It's kind of st started. It's a junker, so I'm gonna work on that. I got I got the ladder put back together on it the other day, and. Uh, I got two. I got a van, two cars for the support vehicles, and I got to make my grass rig, which I've got the Dodge truck for that. God. So I'm gonna scratch and build a bed for that. Yeah, I know you can go on eBay and buy one, but what's the fun in, in that? <laughs> yeah. So, along with all my other projects. So I thought, well, since I'm sitting here, I might as well figure out what I was doing for this. Because I was going to use this for uh, Jeff Auto Garage's big rig group build that he started and canceled. That's kind of still going on. <laughs> the, people, the people involved decided they wanted to keep it going. Yeah. So I made a video, but I just never, I've never posted it. Video. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, while we're sitting here, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I would work on next. I'm going to work on this. Get the torch out. Man, that's a big, thick piece of plastic. Well, Jonathan Wade was in his signs while ago. That reminded me to grab this box. Yep, yeah, the torch here to hold up the heat up the hobby knife sometimes if I gotta cut which I'm getting ready to do because I'm getting ready to cut the fender rolls off and the, the the body and off the front to make one uh I think it uh, in real life uh, they don't uh, it won't have the fender wells because the uh, car lighter and two uh more room for the the big old Hemi and exhaust. So, I 
Now I gotta figure out where I need to cut it at. Yeah, one of these days I gotta get back on this fire truck and get her done. <laughs> yes, what keep saying about this one and that one and that one. <laughs> yeah, one and this one. <laughs> My, my oh, shelf of shame is like yours. <laughs> or the, I call it the get around to shelf. Yeah. I call oh. it my work in progress shelf. Ah. Chrome. I'll get around to it one of these days, 10 years later. I'm finally yeah. getting to it. Yeah, well, <laughs> I got two little 10 years left. So these must be all the pieces that I was cutting out. No, oh, because here's all the frame rail. Okay. That's the side panel for the side of the tank. Oh. It's kind of slowly coming back. That's, that's the su top support. I don't know how many parts you want to fly in. So we'll hang that back up there again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, to do a video, I have to move everything off my work area here because you know, this is my work area right here, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's about two inches bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a little bit of redesigning on this and make it a little different. Well, see, that's the problem. So I got to move all this stuff to set up to do the final videos. Then I put it all back. It's all rearranged again. This is yeah. different. Oh, well. The price of fame. Yep. Now I just got to find the fame. Yeah, well, I've been working on that for a number of years. Let's see. These are... Just bits and bobs. Okay. And true Brewster fashion, I never throw anything away. I found the dash panel the other day in another box. And went, hey, I know where that goes. There's the visor, the driver's seat, and your dash panel. There's the steering wheel. And there's back. Hey. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Welcome back. You're back. Uh, by the way, Andrew, uh, you don't have to send the air airbrush to me. Have to. I'm getting uh, two of them. Have fun going on my airplane. Nice, nice, awesome. Uh, but anyway, uh, Andrew, you don't have to worry about sending the airbrush to me. Uh, Bruce, he's sending me two that are brand new in, in the box. So, no, it's, they're just one. Oh, mm. just one. Okay. I thought there was two judging on the on the box. So. No, there's two pictured on the box. There's just one in the box. Okay. They say it's a. I guess a red one. What are you talking about? Maybe it won't hurt having two airbrushes in. Right. I got four. <laughs> well, never, never mind what I said, Andrew. Never mind. Talking about airbrush. Fine. I got six. 
Okay, there's the breaking system. I got 17 of them. <laughs> the intercooler? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six. You talking about airbus? Control panels. Bits and bobs of plastic. There we go. Mud flaps. Some glue on there one more time. Air compressor. Okay. Steering box. What can this open? Oh, that's a fire truck. That's what that's all about. I'm going to use it on this. That's it. You did get my address, right, Andrew? Just double checking. Okay. No, that's my dad. <laughs> I don't know what to work on that later. That's that's for the park truck. Hey. There is one finger wheel. Goes on this. Hey guys, how are we having tonight? Howdy. How's it going? What's that? I shot this last night, but it's going back in the purple pond, man. I don't like the way it turned out. <laughs> I shot it. I shot that over gray primer. Not much reprime it with white. I don't like how the mark is looking at it. It should look more like this. Yep. Hey. 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 Guess what I got, Ryan? You got a torch. That, but uh, I got a uh, garage sale signs now. Nice. I look Sitting forward there. to seeing what you can build with them. <laughs> yeah, Sitting there starting on the six seven. Uh, I tell you what, it was so many hundred kids. It's kind of cleaning up. Oh, yeah, just clean up some uh, uh, a little bit of flash paint. That was it. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> <laughs> <That's your party. laughs> For those that don't know, that's my way of saying hi to Andy. I don't want to be sick, so don't have any detail at all. No, no, guys. Like the oh, no, the, the, backwards. the censorship guy is here. <laughs> And you yeah. don't want to go. No, no. I, I'm leaving. Fuck this shit. See you. Dang. 
Hey, Jeff. Jeff. Fire. Nope. I apologize, Bob, for the outburst. Why leaving? I'm jumping out of here because the flag misses my head too much. Okay. Uh, but no, this is a kit you're talking about. There's one part missing out of it, and one, and that's one of the dryer sheets, uh, dryer dryer vents they put into it. And half of that, and I got it somewhere. This is the kit you. You don't want you don't want me to go down that road, Boston. That one. And then you got the 76, 77, 78, which is this body style where the rear windows are a little bit different. But I thought AMT did a 75 one as well. I think it was MPC that did it. I know. That, that, done yeah, the too. MPC one I got sitting right next to me. Yes, they did, and it's the brown one. I believe it. Uh, Bob, if I, it's all right to bring this up real quick. Oh, yeah. Let me grab my... Uh, if I hit the right button. Damn it. So I take it Jonathan's working on his Impala. Bob. Let me just double check on scale mates. Could you get for that seventy five? Yeah, I wish. I don't have an it's <coughs> see that's the one I got right here. Let me bring this up real quick. It's just a different box art and a couple of extra features, but I don't know why they're saying calling it a seventy-five when it's actually a seventy-six. Uh, which one, the brown one, Bud? Or the one I showed you. So, I don't know. So, the 75, the brown one is... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm even having difficulty thinking about partying with one of them. All right, now I've got a better idea where I need to go. To extend the frame and thank you bob yes they're, they're no they stop me let me go get them and i'll show you both bodies which i mean them ones i uh i would look at model empire they may have them they may not Yeah, I'd say that's a good spot to cut it there, Jonathan. Yeah, I'm going to add probably about an inch. Half an inch. Yeah. You got to take better. About a, about a half inch maximum. It'd probably be less than that. But... And then extend yeah. the rear. What's up, Joe? Did I show you this? The Unreal Roller. Nice yeah. one. 
that the original issue? No, oh, that's the uh, one that just come from Atlantis. Nice. Really nice. Okay, this is a 74. Oh, crap, yeah. I'm missing the top on one of them for, for mine. I got an original issue pink one. Pinkish, mauve, mur burgundy, whatever color it was. <laughs> one is an AMT. One's, I think they should be both 124th. The AMT wrong. and the MPC will be both uh, 125th. Yeah, this one looks, the MPC looks a little bigger for some reason. But the car might have been bigger back then too. Well, it's got the nose on it, so. But you can see the difference in the roofs. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> go, go ahead. I'm sorry. See the size difference? Yeah, real end is a little bit different. Yeah, that's the 76 through 70, uh, 76, 77, 78. This is a 75. Terry. If I want to look what uh, Mini Mike said, Buff Off. <laughs> yeah. And you have a better chance of meeting Jesus Christ. What's more believable? What did Boston Buds buy? Yes. That sounds like a guessing game. I didn't know I'd join the game show. <laughs> oh. All right, let me get off screen, big screen, Bob, if you would. Just a second. Got my, got my hands full right now. You, you missed the set. You, you missed it. <sighs> That tire lost on a lot of people in this world. Brennan. Let me guess, you bought a one, one night scale uh, Ducati. I can tell you what I have in it, and that's all I want out of it. Shipped to Texas is 165. Are those the thicker ones, Jonathan? Like super super thin. I mean, I got the uh, double up no matter what, but I got three of them. Yeah, you can double them up for a little extra strength, but yeah, at least it's not the super tiny ones where they're super thin like paper. Bought a new mower. Okay, I would have never have guessed that. Boss. Me either. <laughs> yeah. I was on the mower mower today. Me too. Oh God! You got a new manscape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Ryan, I decided to go with this collar here for the body and the iris. Purple. Cool, cool. Thank you, right, thank you, Bob. With the... no, don't don't mix the Krylon with Rustoleum on the body. <laughs> so if you go to clear coat it, don't use Rustoleum. Then I'm gonna have a wing coming out in the back, and then it's one here. And you got the hood and hood scoop. 
with later red with this sticking out of it that's massive, that's massive. <laughs> All right. Uh, now let's cut the fender wells off of the body. For two reasons. One, uh, basically uh, less weight in real life. What? And two, uh, more room for the motor and the exhaust. Yeah, you're definitely going to need them. <laughs> So I'm gonna give the torch a little bit longer break. I'll turn on and tighten yeah. Rimming. Little small trim. You just sorting through parts there, Bruce? Well, you're late, you're late for class, but I'll start over. <laughs> you ain't gotta start over. I, I, I'm Milk familiar tanker. with get. I'm familiar with getting an F in class, so you ain't got to Milk tanker extended nice. to make a water tank. I cut the back end off, made it flat, because I didn't want all the doors. That's cool. I I extended the frame. It used to be that long. Now it's this long. Cool, cool. And here's here's the cab. Peter built cab. It's going to be a water tanker for my fire department. And here I'm making the side panels. That's cool that it's a cab over version. That goes on the tanker. I got a door cut out. So, yeah. four years I'm trying to refresh my memory of what I was doing. <laughs> It'll take you four more years to figure it out. Well, I think I've almost got it, which is scary in itself. But I just had a bag that had the other parts in it. I was like, where did that bag go? And then Ryan asked me a question. <laughs> and now you got to start over. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, but yeah, I, you don't see any cab over water tankers nowadays. So I'm, I'm going to make one of those. That's one thing they and, don't. That's one thing they don't make nowadays is cab overs. Yeah. Oh, well, here it is. I found it. And uh, you know, I got a pumper that's two thirds done, and I got a lighter truck. It's I bought off of eBay junkyard. It's two thirds back together. And I got uh, a van that's slated for a support vehicle. And I got my uh, 78 Dodge is going to be a grass rig. And I have a uh, that uh, Monaco I got in a box somewhere that I bought off of eBay junkyard. That's going to be the chief car. So yeah, I've, this has all been planned out for like five years and I'm still working on it. <laughs> so you plan on doing a big firehouse kind of diorama thing or something? Well, I'm going to build a car garage, cool. kind of, along with the Sinclair gas station that will be sitting beside it. You know, one day I started looking at the cars I've built in my photo albums, and I realized I've built a lot of fire trucks and cars. <laughs> <clears throat> well, 70 years old, I got great plans of getting them done. <laughs> Sarcastically sad, that is. Okay, I need. All right. See, B see, Bob's just cruising right along on his old truck. Yeah, I just I cut all the locating pins off on the body and the bed, and and it went together. I do that a lot. I just it doesn't fit. I just start cutting stuff till it well, does. They both have several times, and they both fit. But then when I try to put them both on together. No go. <laughs> so we just cut them all off. Makes sense to me. Well, I see the logic. The operating procedure for the MPC kits. Well, I see the logic in James's that uh, the 
Molecar experiments. So I'm the I one did gluing things together first before you build it with white glue. I see the logic in that because I've done it a couple of times. Test fit. Test, no, so test, I checked test, it probably a dozen times, the front and the back, and every, they all bump right on their pins and lined up. But when I try to put them both on at the same time, different story. Uh -huh. They fit now. There you go. That's all that matters. Okay, that is to make another box. That's what that's for. That's the side rail that goes on here. Hey, Serge, how are you tonight? Howdy, Serge. Hi, Serge. Hey, Serge. Uh, we'll be here for a couple hours anyway, so you're you're fine. Hey, bud. Who else did I miss? You just love me. Okay. Do this. Putting on the end. Uh, your heater hoses and stuff. Radiator hoses. Time for the underhood plumbing. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's. Yeah, we had one of them deceptive days today where the sun was out and it looked nice, but it was windy. I was going to go try and put some clear on my car, and then I, I thought about it. And I'm like, I got Krylon on the roof and Rust-Oleum on the body. So I was like, yeah, no, maybe we won't clear coat this one. <laughs> Last thing I want is for the thing to get all crackle painted. Rust it out. No. <laughs> I mean, it's a Rusty. It's a 66. It could use some rust, but nah. She's got a small bit of, let's say, a clear coat issue. She's yeah. there, but she's not super shiny. <laughs> We're driving down the road today. My father saw one of the newer Mustangs there that's got the retro style. Right. Yeah. And he goes, oh, nice car. And then he gets a second look at it. He goes, oh, the thing's all rotted out already. Yeah. Ain't that sad? Yep. Not even 10 years old, and they were worse condition than anything from the 80s and older. So now that you make it out of tin cans. Recycled beer cans. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what's up with this problem? Where you at? There you go. You can go in there like that. is what is upper hose upper hose is the longer one four <laughs> 24 actually it's the shorter one really yeah well i suppose it is a straight six ain't it yeah somebody's unhappy no nah, there's critters in the yard so I said somebody's unhappy. Somebody wants to go after the critters. He wants to play. <laughs> well, I won't be using this hobby knife anymore. That's why you always keep a dead one. And if you're going to keep using the flame on it, use a solid metal one. I've used this one many times. But the board okay. It just said it's finally time. But it is an old hobby knife, anyways. One of the ones that my dad used. 
Well, now me and my dad get to fight over the hobby knife. Now, on the metal, the metal one we have. I probably got a dozen of those, too. Because if we ever do a, a, a double build, okay. well, that's it. Video, double build, just doing a separate uh, build for a two separate videos. Hey, Lewis. I hey, get how are you? Oh, How you doing? He's doing fine. Hey. He's doing fine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Andrews. Yeah, we're doing good. Cool. Oh. Good. They are great. <laughs> microphone in her head. Great. <laughs> Just looking at his progress. Won't be touching that anymore. But, but well. And again? Good. Yeah. Goes turned that way. Out of all places, the hot blade uh, into my uh, 67 Pro Street frame. But a little sanding should get it out. <laughs> Did that. All right, let's try this. Round two, fight. Fatality. <laughs> oh, there's already been a fatality already. Someone's got rumbles. Yeah, that's here in Georgia. Your plane stands went in the mail today. You should get them probably Monday. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I got plenty of them. <laughs> you got to buy them by the dozen from Airfix, so I've got plenty of them. Oh, really? Okay. I was about to ask you where'd you get them. They're the Airfix stands, but you got to buy them. They sell them in the package. Six big ones and six little ones for like 10 bucks. So it's. That's cool, though, that they offer that since they don't come with most kits. Well, they used to put them in the kits. That's the thing, yeah. Just like Ravel used to put them in their kits, too. What's up, Mark? All right. I want the glove because that handle is getting hot in the morning. That bend of it. Put glue around my side. And your shop card should be there tomorrow, too. Did you already send me one yet, babe, Bob? Yes, here's one out on a couple days ago. Monday, Tuesday. Cool. It might be there today or tomorrow. Tuesday. Mailed it on Tuesday. Cool, cool. And it's got your uh, red firebird decals in there, too. Yeah, I was just looking at that last night thinking, hmm, I could start on that one soon. <laughs> no, I know, but it's, it's not sitting all the way down. I put beans on, and it's on substance. Yeah. It's kind of hard to pull off a good white with red detailed car, but I really like the way my and the, good on, my I livery know. turned yeah. out in the video game, so I'm They're definitely going to do that. It's just, they just got to sit all the way down in there. Just because it's not the common colors everybody sees. You had them in right. You just had the front one in the back and the back one in the front. Yeah, I'm thinking when I, if I do a white one, I would do the. Uh, where are they? Yeah, right. I like the idea of white and blue. I think that would look gorgeous too. But well, that that one I do have planned. I, I want to do. I think color. Well, that would be for for me. That would be the seventy. I have one or an original one that I did with uh, 
like a baby cream buttery butter buttery color with the uh, black stripes on it the black with the silver and red i would probably okay. that be the one i'd probably do mm -hmm. yeah a little less red in it but yet still has red. yeah yeah of course this other one the uh the black and gray one with just a touch of red is pretty cool too right but yeah the blue the blue definitely gonna, i'm gonna do probably that even though it's not correct up on that 70 that Ravel 71 Firebird, I'll probably put this blue one on there. Just because they look cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> I might be back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hi. Welcome back, Hi. Marcy. Hello, new people. New people. Yeah, other people came around while I was away. Sounds like the Langoliers. Look, new people. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. More history to eat. <laughs> right. Like the cannibals and the clown. He tasted funny. Uh huh. Mark says his Camaro is done. Cool. Mm -hmm. On to the next one. Or back to the ship, one or the other. Yeah, he said he's got quite a few of them going. So. <laughs> Whose life is this? Huh? Whose life? Team Mom's. Huh? Who's Team Mom's? Yeah, I think I'm gonna break down the first of the month and buy just break down and buy another table workbench for the so I can start the constitution. I put it off long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can get yeah, one of those folding yeah. tables, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm going to get. Uh, one of those just banquet tables, little four-footer, yeah. five-footer. Yeah, I got a couple of those. I just want to set it somewhere, somewhere where I can leave it. Yep. In my I, other room, I got one in the middle of my floor. I just got everything for my dining room. Even like a TV, TV stand if I get one that's fairly, you know, TV tray stand if it's really sturdy, something like yeah. that. I've got a spot over there where I can put it and just not move it. The same company that makes the banquet tables, they make 16-footers, 8-footers, 4-footers, card tables, chairs, and individual folding trays that are bigger than your standard TV tray. We have a card table for years. I've got a card table, but it's wobbly as fuck, so I ain't going to put it on there. Yeah, you go to Sorry, you up against the wall, but otherwise it's, it's horrible. We just go to Grandma's house. We, the kids got to eat at the card table. Yeah. yeah. When I yeah, used that's to, what we did. Put the card table up in the back room. Oh, when I used to, when I used to build my dollhouses out in the garage, I had one of them four by four folding leg yeah. card tables. Mm -hmm. It wasn't bad as long as you had them locked in, but if one of them was unlocked, oh god, that thing was sketchy. <laughs> you get the low, huh? you get the low. I was 18 years old getting ready to go in the army, and grandma still put me at the card table. I know that feeling. <laughs> you keep the rest of them kids straight. Uh -huh. yeah. I'd, I'd still you're rather right. eat it. You're in charge of the kids. <laughs> When you're the oldest of 17 grandchildren, you become the yes. one in charge in the back room. That goes out that with me. Absolutely. <laughs> I'd rather sit at the kids' table to eat anyway. Sadly, I'm the most corrupted one in the bunch. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got one thing. Yes. Our kids' table was the uh, coffee table in the living room. Oh, car hauler rolled over on 81. Yeah, that could be a mess. Yeah. yeah okay, good. we have upper and lower radiator hoses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Still no mirror yet. <laughs> I'll cut those out. Okay. Well, at least you didn't forget it. Right. You're going to have to do it. Nope, it's right here. <laughs> Just hasn't got that. Like that. Yeah, right there it. next to the front bumper. Oh, I now I remember. Speaking of which, let's see how that's going to fit. 
I got here the trim the front rails. No, I don't fit okay. Yeah, I think it sticks out a little oh, bit right, too much. The and yeah, the glasses are right. As long as it sits up high enough and doesn't leave too big of a gap. It looks so yeah, I was worried right. since I had, to, I had to eliminate the uh, locating lugs that maybe it might not. It might stick out too far. But it looks like it's going to be all right. Yeah, it doesn't stick out much further than the hood and the grill. but Which is what you would want on a real one is for it to yeah. get before anything else. But. <laughs> that goes there. I don't know if that was something you would have thought of, but on them older trucks like that, if it was a work truck, it would have white bumpers. Yeah, I thought about doing that, but then I thought, well, since it's kind of a, it's a shop truck, but I want to kind of be like a showy, a showy right. shop truck. Right. I went, I left the chrome, the chrome uh, inserts on the on the hood, and put the chrome panels on the. On the yeah, uh, I, I suppose because otherwise you'd have had to do the white grill and on the B pillar, you know. So yeah. I put we got the yeah, chrome, on, chrome on my rust there. on my rusty one that I did. I only wanted the bumpers white to match the white wheels and the white top. Everything else still stayed chrome. Just because yeah. I wanted the white rims on it, I figured, yeah, let's go with the white bumpers too. <laughs> yeah, our farm truck, our 60, uh, 62 Chevy head was all white. Everything was white. Yeah, white or rust, and two that was the two colors, or rusty white. Or rusty white. <laughs> yeah, my little truck that's on the garage was originally John Deere green, and actually, its front bumper was a two by 12, and it didn't have a back one anymore. Yeah, it's crazy how bumpers tend to fall off on vehicles <laughs> of all things that need to be there, you know. <laughs> Well, I, I'm not positive, but I think my grandpa hooked a chain to it and was trying to pull a tree stump out. You got to do it. Well, they do say when you got granny gears, it's strong enough to pull a tree stump, and many people tried. <laughs> yep. I think he hooked it to the bumper instead of the frame, and the I think frame. he hooked, yeah. Greetings, hooked Penny. it right off. Now, I can't confirm or deny that story, but that's kind of what I'm... <laughs> that's probably what happened, yeah. Morning, Most likely. Penny. You're an early bird, Penny. Good morning, all. Well, yeah. Somewhere. For all you, for all you know, Bob, you may have got, oh, may have got the tractor about. stuck and tried to pull it out. <laughs> well, tractors, I know how to get them out. You use, use a, a log and a chain. A log and a chain. Put it, yep. yep. Chain, the, chain the log to the front of the wheel and, or the back of the wheel and you. Let it spin and lift you up and over yeah, out of the hole. Lift it right up out of the hole as it, as it turns around. That I know how to do. I've done that before. Been there. Yeah. What's up, bud? We got a couple of times out working out in the woods. Well, we weren't exactly working in the woods when we had it, when we did it. We were doing more. Yeah. One, one time I was with a couple of friends and we had this old beat up truck uh four wheeler and we took it out in the woods after the rain and we were hot assing it around the woods and went over a, a bunch of fallen debris and we were in a place where we hadn't mudded before and what we thought was shallow water was a lake <laughs> <laughs> needless to say we swam back to the corner to the edge of the water and then watched the something <laughs> How hard was you lapping? Oh, we were all dying laughing by the time we swam back. Yeah. But yeah, Sarge decided to duke the hazard it over the debris right into the fucking lake. We didn't even know it was a lake. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, both both uh, wagons do some float. I guess it's kind of pull cool, uh, the ghost of the General Lee. But yeah, his his uncle and a couple of his buddies came with their big trucks and some post chains and pulled her out, took her back home and took her apart and dried her out. <laughs> you can do that with the old folks like his, these cars today. You get them a little bit wet and they die. Yeah. 
Well, the early 60s yeah. once had the seals on it. Right. <clears throat> the door seals were good on the early 60s ones. You could drive them across the water. They would float. Yeah, this is a, a, a 78 or a 79 Dodge. That'd be something. A long oh, time ago. <laughs> yeah, we we beat the hazard of the, the debris and ended up in the lake with a long ass walk home. Oh yeah. You know, Volkswagens do float. Yep, that's what I said. The older ones did anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The new one, newer ones don't. As long as the door sails were still good, they'd float. Yeah, we floated down a creek one day, sideways. <laughs> we thought we could get across. Yeah, well, that's what we get for thinking. We were just well, sitting there laughing started our butt. started a little off. further ahead of where you planned to be at the proper angle, you might have got there. <laughs> well, that's where, that's where the road went across. <laughs> we didn't even slow down. We just... Went head on first, you know. You hear, yeehaw, here we go. <laughs> Just laughing our butts off. Next thing we know, we're floating sideways down the creek. And that yeehaw turned into, hey, y'all. <laughs> well, we climbed out the window and pushed it up hey, to the back. <laughs> <laughs> the car never did sink, but we got wet. We had some great times in that old bug. We went, we even rode it down the side of a hill, uh, the side of a hill one time, upside down, going around circles. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Got down to the bottom of the hill. We just climbed out, turned it over, started it back up, and drove off. Yeah, oh, yeah. We same, slipped ours up. Well. Truck, the same truck after it got dried out and rebuilt. We ended up on um, nose over rear end, rolling it, bouncing through the hills. It come down hard at just the right angle or just the wrong angle, depending on your perspective. And it went nose down and spun with like at least two or three flips. Luckily, we had harnesses in it. Yeah. <laughs> or we'd, have, we'd have both been flat. Yeah, we was in, we was everywhere inside that bug as it was going around circles upside down. Huh. I never thought of that. When I casted these control panels, I I mirrored the left side. I didn't mirror mirror left and the right side. You over there um, heating up plastic, Jonathan? Then you're uh, heating up the hobby knife blade. Oh, Penny's curious what you're doing with your torch. I'm hot, hitting the hobby knife blade, cutting off my fender wells to my Impala body. I've already done my uh, 6 7 uh, Chevelle Pro Street frame. Need to get you a jeweler saw. I can even feel the heat through, my, through the globe. Yeah. I, mean, I told you that torch might be a little bit too hot for the job. Personally, I like a candle. Not to mention the smell of the plastic. <laughs> hmm. Or even just a big lighter. Well, for well, what he's, he's doing, he's a big lighter would take tool. a while. Yeah. He's heating yep. up the tool and poking the plastic. It's not the other way around. It's not the plastic being heated up. Yeah. This With a Bic lighter, be a eventually holding holding a Bic lighter constantly running, it'll crap out or explode. Well, it'll burn your finger too because that metal gets hot. <laughs> well, I got a glove on, and I can feel the heat through the glove. Mm -hmm. I imagine. Didn't they ever tell you not to play with fire? <laughs> well, fire. Well, that's just going to have to be offset. That's all there is to it. There ain't hmm. no more to it than that. Well, then well, that's I, all, folks. <laughs> I, I casted these control panels with resin years ago. 
Instead of making a left and right, I made two lefts. Ooh, hold on. I'll be right back. Turn right to go left. Sounds like something I'd do. So I no longer have any resin material because it all was old. I threw it all out. So I guess they're just going to be offset. Control panel, one on each side, offset. Oh, well. Get the job done. I'll have to rearrange it because there's going to be a toolbox between the tank and these control panels, but I guess we'll just have to re re rethunk it. Oh, well. Oh, let's see. Oh, car story <laughs> says school. One year we got in high one year in high school, a couple of us got got really uh, upset with someone in administration. And we got one of the kitchen people to give us the end of a roll of saran wrap. You know how they used to get the industrial size oh, God, in the are... kitchen back those days? We took that saran wrap and we took it and we took the, went to this dude's car and we wrapped his entire car in saran wrap. Oh, I was gonna thought you were gonna beat you beat him with the, the cardboard roll. That thing's like a lead. Oh, I'd have loved to beat him with the cardboard roll, but no, we we took the, the cellophane and we wrapped the whole car. We did that to We doubled it where car. the doors were at. <clears throat> we did that with the store manager's car when he left to Walmart. We went back to shipping and got to roll that shrink wrap for the pallets. Oh, good. The, yeah, the pallet wrap is great for that, too. Yeah, we wrapped his whole car. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. No, Kevin, that's not funny. That's gross. <laughs> no, and then um, one time there, when I worked, um, the company that I worked for, I started out with them in the 80s, and I was with them for over a decade before I decided to not work with them anymore. Um, we had this one this one manager who had a sports car and he thought because he had a sports car he had the right to park diagonally and take up four parking places. Uh-huh. And he parked out at the back of the lot, you know, because nobody's gonna mess with my car. Nobody parks all the way out here. You know, people people aren't gonna do this. But we took a bunch of shopping carts and at the time they were the old school metal shopping carts yes they didn't have the rubberized stuff on them or the plastic brackets or or any of the safety things that were put on you know later and we took all these old carts and we put them in a circle around his car as close to the car as we could and then we took chains and padlocks and wove chain and padlocks through it until all the cars were all the carts were linked together and then linked to the car. <laughs> and then I promptly took the keys and they went home with me. And in the very next day in the morning when I woke up, I took them and buried them in the woods. It took <laughs> it took the fire department three hours to cut his car loose. <laughs> 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 Quarters or back in order. What was that, Jonathan? It didn't have quarters or however much it cost back then. No, no, none of that nonsense. That that's only like a Aldi thing, and that's recent. Um, but no, we we just we strung a bunch of of cards yeah. together and then tightened mm -hmm. them onto the car real good. And, yeah. All right. The guys that came from the fire department <laughs> were laughing the whole time. No, did. They got a sense of humor, too. Are you going to leave the wheels up? That is. All right. Have well, we successfully cut both sides? I thought you were going to leave the wheels in. That's why Bob got you the stand. Then they're all us on both the frame and the body. I did. Well, you can still put it on the stand with the wheels down. Oh, no. You do it either way. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, cause he, cause the instructions show both ways, whether wheels up, gear up, or gear down. 
but it shows gear gear up or actually gear down first. So that's what he did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, next step, right? So that one I showed last night, uh, my split fire, the the they were just lifting up. So one was one was halfway up, and one was like three quarters of the way up. They wouldn't be able to get away with it like we did, Kevin. Good job, buddy. Well, yeah. it looks like we got a big black bear tearing into our garbage dumpster. Because the humans didn't secure it. Oh, it was secured. It was just supposed to be picked up on Tuesday, but my stepdad was home with the big semi truck and he was blocking it, so they didn't get it. So now it's going to sit there. Uh, yeah. He should have moved the bin to the other side. Now you got to have a mess. No, because where he parks the semi was closer between the dumpster and the driveway because it's the only place on the back road. Yeah, wow. So the dumpster was behind mm -hmm. it with enough room that if a, the dump guy would have came in around like he normally does, he'd have had plenty of room to access. Yeah, it was now, Bruce would have parked on the back side of it so that they could see it was out there. They'd have never been able to get to it. <laughs> right. And they yeah, sure as hell ain't hopping out of the probably wasn't a regular driver. Yeah. The only time anything's been missed like that here is when it's not the regular drivers. So now we got two bags of garbage spread all over the freaking woods. We're picking that up for days. Not today. Fuck that. Wait till that bear disappears. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm going the out there with no black bear. snacks and goes away. You know. I ain't going out there with no black bear. See, yeah, the, yeah, uh -uh. <laughs> See the video on YouTube there where the guy's telling the bear to get out of his yard and the bear takes a swipe at him? I don't, yeah. I don't see a bear. I see dinner. Yeah. Well, they you make some meaty burgers. <laughs> they say if it's a black bear, fight back. If it's a brown bear, lie down. If it's a polar bear, you're done. I don't give a <laughs> fuck what kind of bear it is. It all tastes good when you put it on the grill. Yep. I've had bear oh, steaks, but I don't have the right to own a own a gun at the moment. I'm a felon. You can so. me. You can get a bow and arrow. Yeah, I ain't fucking with no bear with a bow and arrow. You out of my fucking mind? Dude, Fred, Fred Bear plugged a polar bear with one. I'm sure you could hit this big fat thing. <laughs> me and a, a bow and the, arrow right would be the like the guy the, from a Gods Must Be Crazy with one of them little face of the head fucking... and back of the neck. You sever their spine. Yeah, no, I'm not a hunter. I don't care to kill animals. <laughs> you're killing dinner. Rodents, maybe. You're, you're killing a destructive dinner piece. <laughs> the problem is, if I tried to kill a bear to get it out of our yard for self-defense, I'd end up with a <laughs> fine bigger than it's worth mm -hmm. because I don't have a mm -hmm. license. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no. What's it's it? it's not worth that? my trouble. <laughs> no, you don't. You shouldn't be fine for defending your property. You you got to do one. We live in the fucking middle of nowhere. For That's what I'm miles. saying. Call, uh, in the middle of nowhere. Call fish and game. And feels up. Don't the nuisance. It, it won't. It don't work because the bear has a 500 mile loop radius that it travels in, and we're just part of it. There's nothing they would do. They'd say we'd relocate it, but it'll just get right back on its trail and continue. There's yep. no point in trying to relocate it. <laughs> I'd relocate it to my freezer. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but I'm see, sorry. around here, you got to have a bear license season. and only shoot them during bear season, which oh, would be why I would end up in more trouble than it's worth. So. Right. Well, <laughs> no, it goes up. You can factor work here for the most part the same way. But if it's on your property and you are fearful for your life or it's damaging your property, you have the right to take it. At any time. Thank you. Well, that would be yeah, nice. I'm getting out of here. You all have a good night now. All right. Have a good, good one, Chuck. Bye, Chuck. Bye, Chuck. Bye, Chuck Norris. Bye, Chuck. Hey, Phil. Hey, Phil. Gordon's hot rods in the shop. No, it's Phil. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, How's that airplane coming along, Andrew? Huh? How's the airplane looking? Good. We're rolling. We're rolling the wheels for the for the flat spots because it actually okay. has it actually has a flat spot. Nifty for when it's sitting that it has the weight on it. 
Yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. yeah but Buddy didn't pick up on it. He had the flat spots to the side. That's all right. Okay. Sometimes they do silly things. And you miss it. I've I've put things on wrong like that too. <laughs> just Not just tell him, just tell him you didn't know it was flat till you put the landing gear down and you were coming in for a landing. <laughs> yeah. It's not like you were trying to take off with them flat. You know, that would have been a different story. you got to pull the wheel chucks. You would have seen that. <laughs> <laughs> but coming down, yeah, you know. Uh -oh. Oh, I'm not here. Uh, it's a message. You missed your feet, feet. Nah, it's code red. Bob sent me a thunderstorm. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Yeah, well, it's grumbling out there still here, so. Well, it's on the way here. That's what that, that was code red calling. I just put it this, on this piece. But I haven't sent two texts. There you go. All right, so tomorrow on my Hangout, I want to uh, expand the frame and do all that work and probably work on my motor. Cool. So, I had to get a little head start today after I got done cutting grass. So Yeah, that's what we did today too. We cut grass. You know, get, order some uh, senior decals <coughs> along with some uh Hazard County uh <laughs> sheriff uh police badging stuff. Roscoe's Roscoe's business card. Yeah, well, that'll put an eye at. Okay, right there. Okay. I'm going to hop off here. Right. Uh, Have a good one, Jonathan. Go to school tomorrow. I doubt I'll stay on the right. but... Last time. Bye, Dad. <laughs> Night, Jonathan. Night, Jonathan. <laughs> Night, Bob. Night, Andrew. Night. Later, later. And... and Night, uh, Lewis. So, you didn't get my address, right? Mary yeah, Ellen. I did. Jim, Rob. All right, I was just double checking. Bing, bing, bing. Yeah, putting it together, we've had a we've had a long week at work. We we had a we had eleven pieces of equipment burnt this week. Wow. I got a for a busy day. What's that? So that makes for a busy day. Yeah. There's a two hundred thousand dollar um prize if you can catch one of these dirt bags. Is that dead or alive? <laughs> um I'm willing to bet yes. I'd volunteer to come hunting, but I can't stand up straight enough at the moment to hold a rifle. You see now how it's going to stand by? Mm hmm That looks really good. Unfortunately, we can't paint right now because it's raining. That is oh, well. <laughs> you can just keep building and working on other things until you can go yeah. paint. We have a all-natural paint booth. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of my current situation. I don't have any. On the bright side, you don't have moment. to change the filters on it. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what I was getting ready to say. Yeah. Or if we go don't paint right now, we have filters, a. Man. If we go paint right now, we have a waterfall paint booth. There you and go. The, <laughs> and the only downside to that is you, you don't have the fan speed control. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yeah, spring's got to be spring and screw everything up. I had one or two really good days last week where I could do a few things outside. You gonna try to put it on again? Mm -hmm. I got those yeah. things done. Where is it? There you go. I have a paint booth in the house, but I'm gonna set one up out in the garage. Yeah, you know, I have a booth. It's summertime. Get it vented out. I don't have a 
a place to put it at the moment. I really wish our house and garage were one connected unit, but it's it's higher insurance if they're connected, so we left a four foot gap between. Yeah, <laughs> way to cheat the system. Well, I mean, it, it's technically not connected, and it works. No, it's it, close it's enough. All yeah. good, but we we don't have the the two walls that are closest together. Neither of them have the entrance exit door. So you got to mm -hmm. go on the side of the house, which is like two thirds of the way of the house, and then mm -hmm. the door is at the front side of that part of the garage, and then there's another door on the back side of the house too. But but yeah, if they were connected, it'd be great because then you know wouldn't have to travel through the snow to get out out there. And I'd definitely use that for spraying more often. Very it's very not heated either, so it's it, it doesn't really work for that in the winter time. <laughs> very. Impressed, boy. Well, I figure there's more open air out in the garage than there is in this room. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, I got that nice big three car garage, might as well use it for something besides cars. Right. Well, models are cars. <laughs> technically, you know. Yeah, well, technically, yes. Many versions of said thing. We all know you can park a whole lot more models in a garage than you can a real car. <laughs> right. Especially yeah, well, at the if you had the same amount of money invested in the models as you did in one car, you'd have more models than cars. <laughs> that would be true. <laughs> but there's also three lawnmowers, two trailers, and uh, other stuff. Else. That's in there. Cool. There's tools. Random, random site, yeah. Three workbenches, two roller benches, three toolboxes. Uh -huh. Shovel, rake, hole, garden I used, to, yeah, I, I used to run a small engine repair store without my garage for a long time. <coughs> Nifty. Well, I, I got tired of that after a couple of years, so. <laughs> you want me to hold it in your grill? Yeah, trade. Mm -hmm. Oh, I still have people come knocking on the door. Can you look at this? <laughs> no. You get your side mirror on there, Bob? Put that here. Not yet. <laughs> and here he's taking pictures of it. <laughs> no, Marcy, I'm a soft touch, honey. Sure, I'll look at it. No, it's very no. easy to say. I'm not quite done with it yet. I'm just getting some more update pics for the video. <laughs> yeah. That and I'll, uh, I'll I'll upload them to my computer here real quick, and then I can I can share them with you. Oh, 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 watch this other one. Yeah, right. Okay, I think I remember the plan. You put. Okay. The plan is I do it like I always do by the seat of my pants plan. <laughs> Hey, I have a question. Yes. What? How would you go about hosting a make and take? Uh, gather enough kits together and coordinate that with the uh, group host. Or the, Most the companies I go on to, and then we'll have a a, a Ravel has a, a make and take package price deal. Okay, do okay. That's that's what I was saying. And then um I guess and then if, if I have a sponsor, just give that over to the sponsor. Yeah. If somebody's gonna sponsor us and then and then they pay it. Or I pay it. Yeah. Uh like like I think Ravel, you, you get like twelve or twenty-four kits in a cardboard box without they don't have the outer boxes on them. Of course, right. You just, it's a bag kits. You get sure. bag kits. Uh, and then they give them to you at a discounted price. They're like eight or nine dollars. So yeah, you get somebody or you know support. Holy it. cow! The boxes are twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that you're, you're going to get a basic kit. You know they're not going to. No wonder people are buying boxes. Whatever, whatever snap tight kit they have handy, you know. Right. They no wonder people up how many out, of, I mean. out of California live in boxes. You know, like Acme, Acme last year got them, got them from round two, or got them from Atlantis. Those little jungle gym, one thirty oh, second. Little drag, dragsters, dragsters, yeah. yeah. 
no, that uh, Fred was doing for their club meeting. Hey, Fred did a freaking excellent job on that. Uh, yeah. Little, yeah, I so you just con you contact the different manufacturers or distributors and see what kind of a deal they have. For if you look at the, if you look at the thing in person, it does not look like a snap kit at all. There's a lot you can do to a snap kit to change the look and feel of the finished product. One of these days, I still got two more of the uh, fast ones to pick up. I got to get the little Doom Buggy and the Corvette. There might be a fifth one, too, but I know of those two for sure. They're snap kits? Yeah. The old Kenner fast ones that were like Hot Wheels? Yeah. Yeah, they have four or five of them in the series. Oh. You got the semi and then the funny car. Just let him drive. Let's see if we can dig him out here real quick. Can you see it? Uh oh, it's secret, buddy. I don't want to step on it. I did something a little custom with my, uh oh, with my semi truck. Holy cow, it's got dust on it. Oh, no, hold on, no, no, you can't shove him in there yet. He's got to drive. Oh. <laughs> you got to have some patience. Patience? What's that? I'm always talking about patience. Get off my ass, Dad. Get off my ass, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this, this boy is, is, re, is doing a really good job on this plane. It's a, it's, it's a, glue, it's a glue plane. He's, he's, done, a prob he's done about 90% of it. Get off my ass, Dad. He, he always does, does good jobs. But now he's now he's at the end of it and he wants to finish it like right now. No, no. gotta wait a little bit. You gotta wait for the weather to get better so you can paint it. It's taking too long. <laughs> Take too long. It's an excuse to start another one while you're waiting to be able to finish that one. Oh, he's That's got. What I was getting ready to say. <laughs> I got a lot more. He's got a lot started up. <laughs> Well, is there something else you could work on while you're waiting for that one? All right, here, here's my little fast one <laughs> semi truck and my little funny car. Funny, funny, funny face. See, that's the little funny car. Yeah, cool. Oh, come on, open it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty decently detailed inside. You know, it's it's missing a few detail type parts on it, but I got little, I used string for the wires because they were as small as I could find. I added the you two little paint? bottles right. up front. And, you let them dry then. and then for my semi, I built this little, little box bit. that goes on the back huh? for it. This is all custom made. And it's, got, person. Hmm? it's got these little stoppers that are in little pegs. And then my rear bumper actually slides out for the ramp. Cool. Just so we can drive up on there and then the actual wing that goes on it can still actually fit onto the actual what, truck uh, if i wanted it to but this is the the semi for it but these are kenner's fast ones it's got a pretty decent little detailed diesel motor in there when they stop talking you can ask real quick nice Yep. Yeah, I don't think I added anything to this motor. I think that's just a little bit of black washing here and there. And mm -hmm. It's pretty simple, but I mean, it's it's full on chassis. There you go. You can see, you know, it's not like a little uh, craftsman style chassis. It's it's pretty cool. And they're not very big, but they're cool. They're snap kits, but. And then this thing just slides right on there. The, the cab still flips forward and everything, does its little thing. And these little things, I made little pegs in them that actually sit right down into their little slots. So when the car is on there, they have something to hold against. <laughs> you know, so they don't roll off. You're right. Because without them, it just slides right down. <laughs> uh huh. You can take me off, Bob. Oh, yeah. What is a good caller? 45 fish fire pilot. Probably a drab olive. 
a tan maybe what it what is a pilot's outfit uh it depends on where they're at uh the british ones were kind of uh but bluish gray or that some of them just wore actually just wore leather like a leather trench coat type thing but their actual uniforms were were a bluish gray flannel so would that be like the duck blue gray yeah or, yeah i think so what do they call this uh that's aircraft gray but i have i have a duck duck something gray that's it's it's got more blue tint to it than primer yeah, that's for sure. yeah. <laughs> it's almost like a country blue but not quite like pastelish <laughs> It might be blue. Now you blue. Uh -huh. Yeah, buddy. Say it's not done yet, but we're close. She looks good. Yeah, I like that. And you're going to do the trailer and then you're going to haul around the fancy car? Yeah. Cool. I'll do the tall of 55 on it for now until I get the Camaro built. When I get around and get building the Camaro. I'll... Awesome, Bob. Yeah, buddy. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> a, whole, a whole bunch. A lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I bought, bought that West is the West's model car trailer. This is the one I bought for it. Should be here. It's shipped today, so I should get it probably Monday. Early next week at least. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, okay, get the gooseneck or the straight axle. I'll let Teddy bring him there. Uh just a second. Um Probably the bumper yeah, hitch style, I'd imagine. It's a straight tongue. I'm sorry. It's a straight axle. What? Tell, use your words, Bruce. We think we might know what you meant. <laughs> Good luck. We, we could have been confused. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I do that every time I'm making a video. Yeah. You're not going to listen and you're going to lose them. Well, That's fun. That's the one I got. Not oh, cool. That wasn't what yeah, I was thinking. I need to get, get my cool. hands on one of those. I got it for like 30 bucks shipped on eBay. So. Yeah, you see how that one has the wheel chucks with the little dots so you can slide it back or forth yeah. when you need it? That's kind of where I got the idea for my semi truck here. <laughs> I figured I'd attach this tire rack with magnets so I could take it on and off. Yeah. The only right. trailer that I know I have for sure, other than the boat trailer that's on the aqua rod, is the, I think it's... There's the a boat load of 76 Caprices with the uh, trailer on California eBay. Combo is the only other one I have with a trailer. For like 20 bucks. There was a bunch of those. I almost bought that one, but then I saw this one for just 10 bucks more, and it figured I'd go with that. Yeah, I gotta take a look at those two trailers to see the differences between them. It's probably just the tire rack. Yeah, no, the, the, the chassis is build it. The chassis is different between the two or two as well, I think. I mean just the trailers. I don't the cars don't matter. Different different I don't know. I haven't looked at them, so I don't know if they're the same or not. Doesn't matter a little. They said like a, they said like a blue gray, right? Mm -hmm. Look at all them little pieces. <laughs> <laughs> little, people pieces. little people. Little people. Little people. 
I got a couple of trees of them HO scale people. Yeah. They came with some train set or something with a bunch of telephone poles and things. Uh huh. I ain't interested in painting that. <laughs> They're actually just supposed to be impressions of people. They're not well, I, supposed to be grossly detailed. You know? Well, I, I see a bunch of the Hot Wheel racers, you know, where they got the track and all the people and the diorama mm -hmm. track set up and. They're, they're very detailed little people, and most of them, you know, a little black dot for the eyes without the white circle, but whatever. Well, see, that's the thing. You don't even need to use the black dot for the eyes. The way you paint them, you can do a color wash over it, and it gives yeah. an impression right. that there's an eye there. Not yeah, something a little just skin definition. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even with 148 scale figures, I don't, I don't try to paint their eyes or anything. I just, or 135th. I mean, not on 135th. I just do a brown wash. Yeah. On if they're really, really tiny, I do the shading wash. And if they're bigger, I actually use decals. I have eyeball decal. The Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> this is the one that I got from Mr. Jack in the box. He had already built or had it all painted and ready to go and everything. The little little guy back down in there and everything. Just the rocks were too glossy for me, so I shot it with some clear coat and then put the red felt in the back of it. And I was going to repaint his face, but I'm like, no, oh, he painted it. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So I just touched it up with a little bit of my chalk pencil and added a little white hair to his eyebrows and put the little white spot on the side of his head there i'm not too big on doing the people things <laughs> never have yet um i do a lot of figures so Ooh, i i have I this one too models that kind of are figures you know like the the vampirella like this this one was actually a Barbie. <laughs> she had a big baker's hat on her and stuff like that. So I cut the hat off of there. You can actually still see there's like a white mark up there where her hair changes colors. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can kind of see it. There's like a, a shadow line up in there, but she used to have a big baker's hat on it. So I cut that off and kind of redetailed it. To, Painted her pure black to go with uh, my my little homie, and these are the ones that I have next to the Adams family car. <laughs> she was supposed to be Morticia, but I never got around to painting her hair black. And then I started doing the uh, the play bunny coach, and I'm like, yeah, she'll she'll look good as a play bunny. So <laughs> that's where she ended up next to. <laughs> you can pull me down. I'm not good at making or adding skin or I I'd put some skin back on my skeletons I got from Rick Zink. <laughs> but they don't get cold, so they're okay. <laughs> and they don't eat much other than a whole pile of my freaking jelly beans. Bastards. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame them. They're trying to put some meat back on their bones, and that, that should stick to something. <laughs> Sad part is, like any food, it goes right through them. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yeah, it had to. <laughs> sure it did. <laughs> you know, like yeah. pirates of the Caribbean, when they were trying to eat and drink, it just pours right through. Right, right. That was what I was picturing in my head. <laughs> it's not satisfying, but the action is fun, so we do it anyway. Cheers! <laughs> a pirate without rum taint a pirate at all. 
<laughs> Why is the rum always gone? Because pirates be around. <laughs> I wonder if Jeff was a pirate in his past lives. Arr. <laughs> <laughs> Be a strange character trait to carry over into a future life, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I know the camera. <laughs> So you gonna do anything with the go kart then, Bob? Well, you know, I wasn't, but then when I was looking at the decals. It has almost like a drag hag decal for the go kart stuff. Right. So I may build it and and ship it to Jess. Well, that would be interesting because yeah. my idea was because I have another one as well. I was gonna use it for Cliff's uh, wreck fest build. For like one of the small cars, just use the engine and the wheels because they're small. <laughs> yeah. And either do the bumper car or the toilet or the lawnmower or pocket rocket or whatever it is. Pocket rocket. Uh oh. Yeah. At first, I was just gonna shove it back in the in the uh, stash. Oh. But, uh, let's see if I can get it to. Yep, the little putt putt zoom zoom dude. <laughs> it's got like two of them for the for the truck, and then there's two smaller ones, and then there's a real small one, two yeah. real small ones, and then you got all these footprints and handprints and stuff. So I'm thinking I could. Yeah, that would definitely be a Jeff's present for. Her. <laughs> mm hmm. Do it up and put the little ones on, on there and then send her the rest of them so she could do whatever she wanted with it. Right. Other than like the, uh, some of the Hearst and, you know, drag stuff down here, I'm not going to use any of this other stuff. Those three long lines and then the four split lines above it, those are actually for the nose of the go kart. Yeah. Depending on what color you painted it. Yeah. But yeah, I just tried thought kind of thinking about it. I figured that's what I do. That yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, I'll just toss it back in my stash and never be seen again. If you cut the M out of that go kart mart, then it'd be go kart art. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go kart art. <laughs> the zig zigzag racing, you know. It. Well, zigzag's an old paper roller. <laughs> uh huh. I know. What's up, Procary? But yeah, this is a nice decal sheet for the comes with that tip. Yeah, that's a nice loaded one, that's for sure. We got extra bow ties. It came with uh, two white, one blue, and one red uh, Chevrolet tailgate decals. Um, extra, an extra set of the Apache decals for the fender badges. Yep. Extra bow tie for the hood. <coughs> I always thought that was just a great kit. You know, if you use that chassis under like the '72 Chevy truck. I think they line up lengthwise and widthwise, whereas like the '72 Chevy truck is just Craftsman series chassis. Yeah, I almost bought the big game one when I was at the the uh, lobby of hobbies today, but I didn't do it. I'll be back. I gotta take a girl out to pee pee. That's my brother it. scored that square body for a steal. I still can't believe you've got that freaking square body for seven hundred dollars. It's a parts car. And the only thing wrong with it was the uh, distributor was turned like 
30 degrees out out wow that's crazy he started looking at it and realized that the timing was off on it and for giggles pulled a distributor out thinking it was maybe the shaft the pump shaft was screwed up right because he got it they sold it to him as a parts car they sold him a four by four chassis and that truck a two-wheel drive truck this guy was going to build a four by four out of it and he never did and just to get it out of his out of his yard they sold it to him for 700 bucks man he put a battery in it put gas in it cost you a grand just for the four-wheel drive yeah without a body because <laughs> my niece is building building a square body herself they frame off i showed you that picture back from easter Pro carry. frame off restoration on hers pro carry is asking what you're doing he's putting under hood insulation in his truck yeah basically it's just peel and stick felt yeah you know, kind of cut it to cut it to shape and, and stick it in there that's nothing i don't worry if it comes out perfect or not it's you know because 99 percent of the time it's going to be sitting like that so you ain't gonna sit in the cab where you need noise reduction anyway <laughs> Although, if you did, it'd be a nice truck to drive around. <laughs> That's for those cold mornings when, you know, help keep that engine a little bit warmer. Right. <coughs> Does anybody make a block heater for models? <laughs> There's one detail I haven't seen yet. little outlet sticking out of the grill somewhere. <laughs> Mine had... The 67 had one that was in the radiator line, or yep. the upper radiator hose. Yeah, and they the have 60, an inline and a block heater. And the 68 one had one that went, yeah, it was, it was in the oil pan. I've seen them where they replace the uh, frost plugs with one so that it's connected directly to the water. And, and it was basically just a dipstick with a, with a cord on the end of it that you took your regular dipstick out and shoved that down in there and plugged it in. It worked. It kept the kept it warm enough. Kept it warm enough, yeah, that it would fire up in the morning. On them, them there cold mornings. Yeah, that's not a detail you see at all in the, the model hobby. <laughs> well, I don't include dipsticks in it either, and those not too wouldn't be too hard to make, but I just never get around to doing it. Yeah, it's not one of them first thoughts when trying to build a kit, right? <laughs> it's a little piece of wire with a with a curly cue on the end of it, and you're good to go. A ninety-five wasn't ninety-six the last of the square bodies for some of them, like the suburbans or whatever it was. I don't know. I didn't follow them that closely. My brother could tell you he's a he's a Chevy guy through and through. Other than his Trans Am, that's the only non Chevy he owns. <laughs> and that's just because he's at the right age to have uh, been like eleven years old when Smoking the Bandit came out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when that old, he was probably like seven years old, but he was definitely at the right age to be impressionable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was born, was he born? Eight years, I guess he'd have been about eight. I think he was born in 69. Good number. <laughs> The main reason I'm doing this is because there's some big ass injector pin marks on the end of the hood. Sometimes it's easier to cover them up. Just try to get rid of them. Just like when you're doing interior, you put the carpet on there to cover it all, ramp up. 
especially now that you already got it painted instead of still in the standing process. <laughs> Shorter, straighten it up. Okay, so minus the mirror, it's basically done. Still got to do some touch-ups on it. Looks good, man. I did paint the hood hinges, but I don't know if I'll... I'll see if I can rig them so you can put them on or take them off. I didn't put them on mine either. <laughs> if it would have been a forethought thing, you could have actually cut the firewall so that they'd slide in there. Well, they have pins. Yeah. There's pins on the hood and uh, pinholes on the hood and pinholes in the on the fenders. So, Michael. I could probably white glue them one way or the other to get them to stay. If I wanted to have it open. But otherwise, I bought... Uh, well, I was at Office Depot today. I bought a bunch of the uh, stands. <laughs> All right, just lay down. Okay, lay down. Funny, Boston. I hadn't heard that line in a while. So easy, a caveman could do it. Yeah, I got two dozen of these for ten bucks today. So nice. Are they supposed to be like little picture frame holders or plate holders. Yeah, uh, they call them card holders, like for sports cards or whatever. Yeah. Dinner table yeah. reservation names and things. Yeah. Yeah, they're place card holders. At least that's what they One call them. them up. Two point three inch tall acrylic easel stands. Card holder stand. New, made in China. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. The... All right, baby. Well, we're at the show. I can. I can. St yeah, so I've always wondered, what do the Chinese buy when they come to America as tourists? <laughs> do they buy the stuff that's made in China? They ain't got much choice. <laughs> they well true. <laughs> if you actually read labels, you'd be surprised at the various places things come from. Made in Taiwan. Well, Taiwan's too expensive anymore. Made in yeah. India. <laughs> starting to be Vietnam. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff made in Honduras. Um, India. I saw the other day that was... Definitely Pakistan. There's been a lot of stuff from there. Yeah, a lot of stuff you're starting to see uh, either Vietnam or Cambodia on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of a lot of toys and electronics are made in Vietnam. Assembled in Vietnam. But yet, it's packaged in America with a "Made in America" label on it because the box was made in America. <laughs> Always got a kick out of that. 
You like GM cars? Well, you, know, you, you get this box and you think, oh, cool, it's made in America. It says so on the box. You pull it out and you look at the price. It says made in China. <laughs> or it says assembled in whatever yeah. space of American cars. Yeah. It's funny, Kevin. <laughs> Ford used to have a lot of their part, car parts assembled in the United States, but they were made in Canada. Mm -hmm. Some of it was it said on the like the instrument clusters, it says assembled in Canada. So they make the parts here and then ship them to Canada, have them put them together, and then they send them back. You know, it's Canada, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not. <laughs> Seen a lot of stuff like that marked Mexico, assembled in Mexico too. This is this back in the late hey, 80s okay. and early 90s. When a we're not okay. Yeah, we're, we're around almost every night. Somebody's got a stream going on. If it's not me, it's it's Jonathan or, or Ryan, Ryan or, or Jeff. Ryan or Jeff, yeah. Or Jonathan, Rob. Bear must be back in the yard again. <laughs> and if you're home in the afternoon, then you can catch all the UK guys having their streams. A little history and Lindsay and uh, Penny. Pennies are usually in the morning. Craft and Budgie Mama. Yeah, Natasha. Yeah. Natasha. They're usually in the mornings here, anyway. Yeah, I watched a little bit one day for yesterday. I think it was. Oh, and if you catch it right, then you can get uh, catch the the uh, the Aussie ones. <laughs> So are the Aussies more prone to be an awesome, or is that just their accent? <laughs> I don't know. I only know personally uh, three Australians, and one, well, one's one's technically Tasmanian, but he uh, lives in North Queensland now. Greetings, Edward. Hi, just Edward. So you know, just so you know, Edward, we were just about to leave. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> he did that hey, last night. He showed up right as we were leaving. <laughs> Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, it's it's ten ten in the morning in uh, in uh, Eastern Australia right now. So yeah, so the time you're getting up in the morning, twelve hours from now is when they start having the eight or you know, about ten hours, eight ten hours, about four in the morning is when they start having air. Which is sad because that's about the time I finally decide to go to bed. Doesn't mean I fall asleep yet. <laughs> All right, black washing time. Yeehaw. Just the right one? No. Yeah, so you could almost always find a live stream if you try hard enough. Well, histories will go from east for eastern uh, time zone goes from like eleven in the morning till five at night. Because a lot of times he does them from where they're six six to twelve his time. Because he works funky hours too at the hotel.
Uh, I'm going to have to cut the where the light wasn't fitting. I'm going to have to cut the front of that back. It's hitting the radiator. Your underhood layman? Yeah. We need to shorten it up a bit. That's pretty crazy. There's that tight of a fitment. <laughs> Well, since I cut the locator pins out, it may actually be sitting higher up in the in the engine bay. Yeah, the, the chassis might be sitting a little higher in the body than it's supposed to. I know with mine, the front seems like it's a little nose high. Yeah, kind of a gap between my grill and my bumper. But I was like, yeah, it's good enough. We'll just throw it together. <laughs> Well, Kevin, the way I described it to the doctor I spoke to this afternoon was I would rather give birth with being in labor and hurt black. This morning when I got out of bed, I felt like I was getting tasered repeatedly. But Dad, it's not that little. <laughs> she she is, she's standing here just quivering, quivering herself to pieces. The sky is falling. Uh -huh. That explains why your camera is shaking. No. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, she just she's like that. <laughs> He doesn't like storms. And neither does mine. I got a little 
seat cushion underneath my desk where my feet are at. When, my, when we get the big storms and the thunder, he comes running in underneath my feet right now. <laughs> That's remarkably fast, Edward, even though it's not fast enough for what you need. Every time I try to get a hold of any one of them assholes, they want to, you know, oh, three or four months from now, six months from now. But it's not all at once. Yeah. It's like good food. We're engrossed. <laughs> They made it easy for me to quit smoking. They put me in the hospital for two weeks, and I didn't have. By the time I got out of the hospital, it was over the, over the hump. I thought I could quit when I was in prison the first month, no cigarettes, and then I no sooner get to my first unit after intake, and the first the first guy in my cellmate, he was like, "You got any cigarettes?" I'm like, "No." Am I supposed to? And he goes. Well, you can smoke in here. You can't before. I was just asking if you have any. I was like, no. And he throws me a pack of top and he says, roll your own. What we all do. But what did I do? Four cigarettes later, my head was throbbing. <laughs> I, was just, I didn't have any at home either. When I, if I, and I, when I got up to the hospital, I was stuck at home for another week and a half. So by the time I actually could go out and get any, it was like, well, almost a month in. By then, I was over the hump and I went back. Seven years ago, I had my stroke today. And I quit three months before that. I haven't had one since. I quit 36 <laughs> years ago. I need to. When I, was, when I got pregnant with my daughter, I, I threw him in the trash and. I told the story a few times. One day I came from home from the hospital. I lit one up to take a couple puffs off of it because I hadn't had one in nine months and promptly puked my guts out, and that was it. <laughs> well, if I disappear, it's because the lights are flickering. We'll we'll keep the light on for you. <laughs> <laughs> I got a I got a lighter in the yeah. candle. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. Second was rumbling. Still rumbling here too. Now around here, if the wind blows the wrong direction, the power goes out. Yeah, we have that problem too. It's okay, Wednesday. It's just a little storm, honey. It's not okay. The sky is falling. <laughs> yeah, they're saying the rain's supposed to end here anytime. So. You guys yeah, are all, hear, all east of me, so you got got it for a few more hours. I hear the weather radio in the kitchen going off. Beep, beep, beep. That's part of the reason the dog's flipping shit, too. I'm not here. Go oh. right again. Yep, I realize that. I can look out the window. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> it's raining, really. No shit. It's, it's, it's amazing how, how it's amazing how accurate that window weather report really is. I'm, I'm telling, telling you. you. I have it stand outside on the garage door. But it's, it's it's round. I can tell exactly what the temperature is. Yeah, that weird thing with the number. Oh uh, yeah. The weather rock. On it. The weather you rock. One, you ain't got one of them weather sticks. <laughs> no, mine's round. No, I, I got a weather stick. It's right outside the kitchen window. That thing's been there. 19 years. That's about how long that one's been there. Because the one that was there when we moved in was broke. So I had to put a new one there. It's been about that long. Closer to being ready for final assembly. I probably should have glued this last piece of clear plastic on my little plane. That's oh, one of my plastic. next steps. The main is part of the canopy is this little tiny piece of plastic. That's one of my next steps is to put the, the window and side glass in. <laughs> then I can finally put the body on, put the cross or the firewall in or the core support. And then the grill, the bumper, the head and tail lights, and the door handles, and the trims, and the wipers, and the plastic yeah. and the pear tree. Yep. Yeah. I was waiting that's, for that. Uh, one. That's 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 a good reminder. I need to find my partridge. He flew off. Little bastard. <laughs> uh, you don't need that anyway. Well, how am I supposed to get the side mirror on? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I need them for it. a hood ornament. I need them for a hood ornament. There you <laughs> go. Right <laughs> that would be kind of cute to put a partridge as a hood ornament. <laughs> Oop. Mm. Paint your vehicle that kind of that? gold, that gold green, and. And call it the pear tree and put a little bird on the hood. Right. Yeah. See if anybody gets it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Hey, Jimmy. And then outline oh, it with the other 12 days of gifts. <laughs> right. Jimmy! <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? We're doing all right. <coughs> Better than I was this afternoon. Thing. <laughs> you could be doing all that shivering. Jeez, it's just a little storm. I'm gonna make, mute myself here for a minute. So, you too. Mm -hmm. Sounds 
disc issues in the spine. Owie, I know exactly how that feels, man. Mine's tossed from the bottom to the top. 18 years of carrying shingles didn't help a dang bit, I can tell you that. Mm, no. Neither, neither is carrying bricks up that ladder. I've done plenty of concrete work. <clears throat> From slabs to walls to cultured stone. To, yeah, plenty of concrete work. Yeah, I know mine is definitely a disc issue. I was told the last time it happened that I had a couple of discs that looked like they were on the road to crumbling. <laughs> I've had One three was bolt compressed. Bolt One was compressed, and the other two were, you know, they looked like a mouse was nibbling on them. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't doubt if I went in, they'd say we'd have to fuse it. That's what they were talking about then, and I'm like, uh, no, no, I'm good. I'm okay. it's, it's still good right now. I can kind of tie my shoes. <laughs> I can. I, I every. This is only the second time I've had a sciatica episode in you know over the space of like ten years almost. So no, no, you're not cutting me. Fuck you very much. <laughs> I don't want to go to the doctor until they come out with the Star Trek tools. Right. <laughs> when they can scan you and fix you all in one shot, yeah, now, now I'll go to the doctor. <laughs> no, I've had my share of surgery. I'm, I'm good. Oh, wait. It would be the med bay. My bad. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, go to the med bay. No, oh, my luck. The doctor would say, we haven't got that technology yet. We'll have to put you in cryostasis. <laughs> yeah, no, just shoot me. Get it over with. I'll come back <laughs> with a new body. Yeah, I should probably go in for a CT scan someday, too, and figure out what else is going on in there that ain't right. Something's up. Shiny, shiny, shiny. I'd say it looks good, but it just looks yellow. <laughs> it's a good yellow. <laughs> I can't see your uh, smiling face in it yet. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I haven't gotten as far as the steroids, but I do... When it has happened, I've gone to the clinic and got a uh, a high dose non steroidal anti inflammatory injected into my person, and that's usually enough with a a ten day regimen of uh, muscle relaxers and um, more anti inflammatory. And a couple of rounds of PT. Yeah, I go every three years and get shots in my hands. So my thumbs will work. Well, that's about three years. Otherwise, they pop and lock. See that'll work. Can you read the Sunday paper yet?
Ooh, that was a good thunder oh. bumper. I think we're still here. Yeah, we're still here. Are we still here? Yep. I know I'm you, still here. YouTube says we are. Oh, it was on his end. Okay. What are you doing? You can't dig a hole through the part of the floor. What you want, fat ass? No, this is my sandwich. Come on. It's my sandwich, fat ass. That dog's scared enough. It's going to dig a hole in the carpet. You got a, a towel or a puppy dog blanket, wrap her up and hold her till the storm's over. <laughs> no good for them to be that scared. Yeah, not a, their not, stomach and then they can't eat. She's 70 pounds. I don't think I can hold her. <laughs> Our Dalmatian, you well, have to throw a heavy coat over like, Put her stone. feet on you. You know, put her feet on your lap or at least like lay by your feet and wrap her up. She's like she's standing right here beside me, leaning hard. Yeah, I'm just rubbing her side, out. petting her. It's okay, baby. No, it's not. I can't. Guy is falling. I'm a pretty strong, dude. I, I'm I'm not even gonna try to lift these dogs. My dogs. No, I don't have to lift mine. Not that right, bad ass. Pounds of stupid, it'll jump right in your lap. You sit down. You are part of the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! My great name is like that. He's a hundred and thirty pound lap dog. Yeah, no. So is the chocolate. Was, the chocolate's a pounds is funny. The chocolate lab's a hundred hundred pound lap dog. Ain't that right, fat ass? Ain't you? Yeah, I see you down there. Did we lose you for a little bit there, bub? You what? <laughs> You talking to me? Uh, we didn't. We wouldn't go anywhere, but everybody else did. So I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I saw sorry. you spinning, then I you saw Bruce spinning, then all of a sudden it bumped me out, and I'm like, "Wait, what?" Because normally I never have internet connection connection issues or whatever, and then all of a sudden yeah, not, it, it, showed, it showed the little restart thing, and I'm like, "Oh man, I gotta restart my computer." Are you freaking kidding me? Because usually that means Windows is interrupting something. <laughs> As the guy who was always having the internet issues, that was definitely your internet, not us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, well, I'm, I'm yeah, going to blame it on. I'm going to blame it on the bear that was smashing the garbage can against the phone box to get it open. <laughs> Probably. That that's not that's what happened, but I'm going to blame it on that because you know. That's usually somebody... the government downloading your personal information. Yes. Yep. <laughs> They've had that for years, ever since I went to prison. What more do they need? <laughs> <laughs> All you got, then more. They got my social security number. They want to fake me? Go ahead. <laughs> well, Andrew, Andrew, Andrew said to tell you bye. Bye, Andrew. Pew, 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 pew. Bye, Andrew. <laughs> His bye, phone bye. died. <laughs> His phone died, so yeah, he said... Yeah, it happened. He said, tell, he said, tell the modelers I'm going upstairs to go to bed. <laughs> and, yep. and, charge my, and charge my phone. And charge the phone, yep. Exactly. <laughs> nine, nine. <laughs> and this is all he got done on his plane. He got some progress made. Well, it's good. Oh, we're getting there. Looks like an airplane to me. He did. Yeah. Wheels down. He's very impatient, but um, he's, he's, he's grown very patient. But he still gets to the end, and he he just wants to. I, I do the same thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. The end in sight, and you start cutting corners, and, and mm -hmm. you start yeah. <laughs> Guilty mm -hmm. is charged. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that dually I just did was prime example. It has a Bluetooth uh, transfer case. <laughs> I couldn't get the transfer case to fit, and I didn't feel like making one. It's there. You just painted it in clear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It's got, got Bluetooth a, exhaust, too. It's the definition of a trailer queen. Best model I ever built. I sprayed the whole thing with transparent clear. I still can't <laughs> find it. <laughs> it's there somewhere. But I know it looks good. <laughs> Till it dried, and then I can't find it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that invisible ink stuff didn't actually work. I still saw the part. <laughs> okay. All right. Headlight time. How are you doing a 57 for a senior's build, Ed? We're cool. I haven't touched mine all week. I've freaking they've had me quit working all week. Freaking all these morons won't quit calling off. Day of they have to work. They they're sick all of a sudden. Especially when uh, it's close to the weekend. I fuck up more of my paycheck. Yeah. More money to go do stupid shit with. Hey, put a little things. bit away and do stupid shit with the rest of it. Yeah, so you're back. You're back on Tuesday, right? Yes. You I just came in tonight because uh, Ryan uh, Rob didn't didn't come on. I was sitting at the bench anyway. So. Oh, okay. So, well, was t was tonight when you were you you two were supposed to swap? Yeah, he was supposed to be on tonight. Huh. I was I was watching for a stream. I was wondering what happened. It got to be it was seven o'clock here and he still wasn't on, so I I went and started one up. I figured if he came on later that I could I could always drop it out, shut it down. Okay, because I yeah, I, I remember you guys swapping, but I didn't remember okay. if you guys had already swapped. Well yeah, on Saturday he said he wanted to do it this week, so I was on Tuesday night and then Yeah. Yeah, what so he went to the doctor today. Mention of doctor on his feet on Facebook. And he usually doesn't run real late either, so I'll probably end up doing a late night after he's done anyway. Yeah, you usually do the uh, what's that called? The after yeah. hours. After, after hours, hours work. Work, yeah. Because I'm a vampire, so I'm I'm pretty much nocturnal. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's really here. Yeah, I've been nocturnal for decades, so works for me when I'm not at work. I yeah. love third shift. I worked Ooh. night shift for 30 years, so it's just kind of ingrained in me now. Yeah, that's the thing. You get used to it. it when the sun cool. comes up, that's when I go to bed. Daylight Who dark. was? I very rarely go out in it. Who was talking about the other night? Be somewhere. Trying to find some of those old Ravel Hot Wheels series kids. I can't remember. There's a. I found the Volkswagen van, the 96 release of that. Hot Wheels van, that weird looking thing. The Sun of Gun. Uh, That's what the Hot Wheels was called for the VW van with the camera top wheel. that lifted up. Bell's Wheels. It says Hot Wheels on the side. Yeah, I sent uh, one of those AMT Coca Cola kits for Andrew, too. So it should be in the <laughs> shop garden tomorrow. I wanted, a, I wanted a raffle, but so I got like ten kits for twenty dollars. So I, <laughs> that's not, that's that's I wouldn't that's build. I figured he would just go nuts over it. So yeah, he do, he does. He's got stuff going on, and everybody, and that's the thing. Everybody tells him, "I want to, I want you to build this by the time you come back next year." So he's like, "Okay," mm -hmm. and then he'll come home. He'll get it started, and then, and then he'll jump on a plane. Something that he really didn't. Yeah, it says do with what he wants. Mm -hmm. If he wants to build it, it's great. If he wants to, whatever. I said, I'm never going to build it. Um, that's the tent when I hit the lottery last year at the uh, IPMS show. I bought about $20 worth of the tickets and brought home like 17 models. Wow. There you go. Cool. Wow. That's definitely a lottery. <laughs> yes. That's what, that's what I tell my wife. You know, every time we go over there, we, we win. We went on the raffle. I said, I tell her, you know, we buy like $10, $12, depending on what the little package is. 
of tickets and we end up winning five or six and she's like you guys bought all that and said yeah well yeah technically you know we bought raffle tickets and it, and, and you come back home with all kinds of stuff and then andrew's always in for one kit and then he gets a deal so he we end up coming home with eight nine kits and nowhere to put them <laughs> about yeah they had a deal and get they got 30 tickets for 20 bucks and i just like Four out five and put in five in the airplanes, five in the cars, five in the military, five in this and five in that, and I ended up with a boatload of stuff. Not, cool. you know, it's all basic stuff. Nothing, nothing spectacular, but you know, it's fatty. Yeah, but you know, but you, but you know, the thing I like, I, I enjoy about the raffles is that, the, um, like, well, the raffle that that they had at, at the at, at the show up here in Alabama uh, a couple weeks ago. You won the raffle. They gave you a kit. You didn't choose. Yeah, that's what this was. They just gave you one. Yeah, they they already had, I guess, a kit allotted to that particular win. So it, it was pretty cool because we ended up with some kits that we would have never, you know, went chosen. out to buy. Chosen. Yeah, we would have yeah. never chosen to buy, but but they're actually pretty good kids. You're like, holy moly! You're not. If I if I if they wouldn't have been gifted to us, we would have never, you know, got this, and and we would have missed out because. Some of these kids come with all kinds of extra stuff, especially at the raffles. There was one guy that, that won a growler, and it had so many aftermarket parts inside oh. that just the aftermarket parts were about twice as much as the kit itself. Yeah, well, like, they're donated by the club members, you know. And they're, yeah. They're like us. You got to see a new kit, and, you, and your eyes get big, and you buy the photo edge, and you buy this, mm -hmm. and you buy that. You shove it out yeah. in the box, and... Five years later, so I'm not going to build that and I send it on its way. Okay, so I'm yep. not the only one. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> I spent two hours the other night looking for a set of resin wheels I knew I had, but I, but I couldn't remember what kit I stuck them in. Because <laughs> yeah. I when I got them, so oh, those will be good in that kit, and I threw them in there, and I, I took two hours going through my stash trying to find where I put those wheels at. I used to do that, too. I had to quit doing that. I kept losing stuff, too. It sounds about right. The yeah, one thing I, I hate drawer losing, just for 3D printed. The one thing I hate losing is axles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. Somewhere in my basement, there are four award plaques. I have no clue where they're at. I know what they are, but I have no clue what I did with them. <laughs> that shows you how important the awards are to me, I guess. There's a 67 GTO badge down here somewhere, too, that I bought from year one, and I have no clue what I did with it. I put it away somewhere so I wouldn't lose it. And then you lost it. You, you, you did lose it. I have no clue where that was. You'll find it when you least expect it. Yep. As soon as you give up looking for it, it's going to appear. It's a <laughs> dash badge I bought for it to display with that shows with the with my GTOs, and uh, I don't know. I have no clue what I did with it. Oh, I still need that. Yeah, I think I think it was a Chrysler, but I'm don't. You'll know, you'll see tomorrow, whatever one it was. One of those Coke Coke cars. And I figured he'd like it. And if he doesn't, trade it off to somebody else. Hey, I don't think I don't think there's a kit there's a kit that kid doesn't like. Oh. <laughs> Greetings, Joe. Didn't see you sneak in over there. <laughs> oh, I didn't see him either. Hey, Joe. Ooh. Oh man, that'd be a deal if we didn't want seventeen dollars to ship all this shit. Well, that still might be a deal. He's already got new decals for all these NASCAR kits. Got yeah, new decals that's what I do. With those. First thing I do is buy new decals. Yeah, he's got quite a few of them. He's selling in a package deal, and they all have new decals, and he hasn't built any of them. Yeah, Lewis but only buys he's... decals. He doesn't buy the models to put them on. He just buys the mm -hmm. decals. <laughs> he wants it. 
Let me see. It's one, two, three, four, five, I'll just six. Buy the car. I'll get like, oh, there's a Pontiac Grand Prix. I'll buy that. Then I'll go look and see what decals I can get for it. Six NASCAR kits. He wants 40 bucks for them, but he wants $17 to ship this ship. Six of them? That's, that's cheap for shipping, bud. Yeah. I'm too much about, ten, about ten dollars. About ten dollars a car is what's going to cost. shipping costs? Yeah. Well, what, once you get into that two pound plus, it's a whole nother bracket. So seventeen is definitely cheap. Yeah. I might send yeah. him a message. That's um, probably here, three probably four, three day ground. Day. Yeah, it's not. That's not bad at all. Hey Jimmy, if that's on on eBay, just add it to your watch list and wait twenty four hours. They'll send you an offer. A lot of times yeah. they will, yeah. And then you send them a counter offer. <laughs> yeah, you can you can back and forth and work your way into where you to where you want to. You both want to spend. Is there something um, in there that you're is there something in there that you're looking for that you like? Um, I just have a love for my old NASCAR kits. I I do want to try and do like the pro touring thing with the chassis. Yeah. But the three NASCAR kits I just got were a gift and I can't I'm I'm weird about if I get something gifted, I'm weird about it. I I'm I can't bring myself to tear those NASCARs apart. That and I love my NASCAR kits too much to tear them apart, but I really want to try that thing with the frame. But I don't want to But I don't want to tear up a cool ass NASCAR kit. But I kind of hey, Kevin. Do. Hey, Kevin. They do. I don't know if they actually make a '69 or if he modified it. But Muscle Car Modeler, that link right there is to his '69 Grand Prix. I don't know if it was a '67, '68, and he modified it or what. But there's a few of them out there. You might be looking at the Sweat Hogs type of thing. I don't know if that was what that one was or if that was a Stutz or something. But I know what? I've had a Grand Prix model before. This dude wants 30 bucks for the Motorcraft Thunderbird? What the fuck? Is it, is it the whole kit? Or... Oh, yeah, it's over 30 bucks. Damn. Shit. All right. Well, I'll put that on watch later and see if I'll send him an offer. 50 mile an hour at scale. That's cruising, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just did sell a bunch of them old Pro Street kids. <coughs> he sold them all. If you wanted a Tempest or Le Mans, then you could just get the GTO kit and get the. Uh, Model car garage photo etch set and change the badging. Yep. But the Grand Prix would be different. Well, the Grand, the 69 Grand Prix is a, a big boat land yacht style. Yeah. Before yeah. The, before the swoop back. So I don't, I don't know if the DTO would be similar body lines. No. No, I, I know the nose would be 100% different, but I'm thinking quarter panels that don't look right either. I own a 69 got, Grand Prix. It's got more of a long but swoopy butt from the window into the trunk. Looks, looks more like a, the old Lincoln's Marks 2s with a big long front end on it. Um, I know MPC made the, the Pontiac Grand Prix, but I don't remember what year it was. If it was 67, 8, or 9. But I do know that there's some resin ones out there. There's a couple of guys that focus specifically on the late 60s GM big big land yacht cars. Like the Oldsmobile, like the Deltas, and the Olds 88s, and some of the other big cars from back in the day. It's a guy on Coast 3D has got a resin print for a 69 Grand Prix. It's $22. I was going to say, it'd probably be a whole lot cheaper to go resin body than it would to try and find an ancient kit. <laughs> it, prints, it prints the car 
the body in three pieces, the frames in three pieces, and you put it together. I mean, it's got the chassis, wheels, engine, the whole nine yards. Does it require a donor kit for the rest then? No, it's a oh, whole it's kit. All there, it's all there. Yeah. Nice. You print, you print it all on your three D printer. Well, there's Kevin's problem. He ain't got a printer, <laughs> and it won't come out of his uh, computer printer for paper. <laughs> Lewis probably have Lewis probably have better luck printing than I will. <laughs> I, I don't even touch my settings anymore. I just leave. My, I just. <laughs> <laughs> Hit print and call it good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They 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 came out. I can't remember. Um, I can't remember the gentleman's name. I had his email. He sent me an email with settings. Bob, I think his name was Bob. Was it? Uh -huh. Was it you, Bob? Nope, it wasn't me. I don't know the first thing about three D printing. Henry, Rob Henry. That's not right. Rob, Henry Rob. Henry Rob. Henry Rob. Yeah. I believe it. I believe it was him. I even met him and, and his wife in uh, at at the Hope It Don't Snow show. Yeah, I didn't we sat, no snow either. <laughs> we, we sat down. To, we sat down to have lunch, and it was lunchtime. And then um, and then Pappy's calling Brian, telling him that they're that they're already doing awards, and he just won like best truck or something. And we're like, it's it ain't but like twelve o'clock. Really. Yeah, that show went by so fast. We were like, what? We just got here. Yeah. Fortunately, we were just like across the street and we, we ran back and it was. Yeah. <laughs> but they were they already had everything shut down. All the vendors were already packed up and it was like it was only like one o'clock. Damn. Yeah. Now that's now that's impatient. <laughs> yeah, no shit. They were ready to go on a Saturday too. Can they were ready to go. For the for the people that get done eating lunch to show up and they were done <laughs> crazy. So it was it was pretty pretty different. And then this last IPMS show that you know they they didn't want to leave. Yeah we finally got together. I don't want to go. Well then don't stick mm. around. <laughs> yeah. We'll do after hours. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. <coughs> Man, I suppose let the fun begin. Yeah. Uh, let me see. You know, I do the shopping list for the show this Sunday. I got a couple things I want to pick up. If they have them. Hey Jim, Jimmy, Jimmy, do you do you do you buy a lot on uh, eBay? Uh a little bit. Mostly, the most what I buy on eBay is um, stuff from Jay's resin. But I don't know. Some people are. You can either find a really good deal on eBay, or you'll find someone tripping on a price. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I just look on there. I see what I want, and uh, you know, if it's about what I want to pay for it, I just move on. Yeah, yeah, you just pass, you just pass you just pass it on. I mean, I I I, I don't I don't know if I, I I think I've told this story a couple of times, but um, I, that's how I ended up with a lot of a lot of my kids was I I would see one or two in a, in a, in a in a lot like that that I would like or that I knew that would sell for pretty good money, and I would buy the whole lot, and I'd end up selling one or two kids for what I paid for the for the whole lots, and then I ended up with you know five six kids and. You know, I'll do like Ryan said. Yeah. You just pull your watch list and wait for them to send you yep. an offer. Yep. Yeah, and now now I got a whole bunch of kids, and when you look at them, you don't want to get rid of them because now they're now they're worth some money. You're like, what? Right. Yeah. That, you know, I would rather I'd rather mm -hmm. pass them on to someone. You know, someone like <laughs> like Jonathan. Now I know I know I know he's going to appreciate it and build them and. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised how quick, man. He builds them. Yeah, yeah. It he's takes like, me he's a like month a... to paint the fucker. <laughs> yeah, it, it takes it me takes three weeks to find the paint. When your yeah. standards are low, it goes pretty quick. Even though his quality is rising, his standard is still low enough. Yet <laughs> he's like the HIP well, he's guy. Not, 
he's he's not in the he's not in the uh, mindset of um oh, let's cut this apart to do this and create a headache. That's what he was yeah. doing right now with his Pro Street Impala. Yep. Oh, he's Pro Street in that thing actually. I don't know if he actually yeah, was he, or cut not. All, he cut he cut a bunch of stuff out tonight. Yeah, he cut the inner fender wells out. He cut the chassis in half to extend it, and he's getting ready to put a 3D motor together. And yeah, he, he's got some work ahead of him. He's got brand new garage sale signs. <laughs> there you go. See, like right now, I'm looking for. Uh, I've got 80. I'm looking for like an 87, 85, 87 Firebird, and on eBay, they all want fifty, sixty dollars for them. Yeah, you know, it's too much money. Yeah, not worth that much. There is a. I don't know. I'm thinking about getting the. Oh, well, shoot. What did I just do? That was not the button. I wanted to click. Go back. Go back. So I'll look at the show this weekend and see what I can find. Shit. There it is. Yeah. Uh, I've been looking. This 91 Firebird. I don't know. The deal only wants freaking 20 bucks for it. The one is thirty nine dollars, thirty nine ninety nine. Yellow one. Uh, no, I found one for. There's this one for thirty. This one's at twenty, but it's on a bid, so that's gonna go probably up. I don't waste my time. The Motor unless, City. Unless it's only got an hour to go, I don't mess with the auction stuff. Yeah, it's, it's got a day and a half to go. It's the Motor City Muscle 91 Firebird. Two and yeah. one. I always thought it was funny when people are like, well, how much is it worth? And they look on eBay and it's an auction thing and it's currently at $24 with five no. days to go. And I'm like, yeah, you just wait three days. Then you'll know the real price of that car. Yeah. Yeah, there's one for $39.99 or best offer on the yellow Motor City. But then the shipping is right. It's $14.50. It's a this one's thirty bucks with free shipping. Here's the deal. Mini Mike, greetings. Mike's asking you a question, Bob. Uh, Just one second. Let me back over here. We don't know. Uh, what I, you love my, <laughs> I love my. I love. Yeah, I'm going my, for a show Sunday. Because the, the Midwest, uh, what is it called? The Midwest uh, Model Model Car Association or something. It's like an NNL style show. Oh, let me find it. I love my 80s, 90s. MWM. Marrows and Firebirds. Yeah, that might be it. Midwest Mid Model Car. Midwest Club. Model Car. MWMC. Yeah. Where's my. Uh, I got like a few kits. I always scroll around, see what the prices are on eBay. Some of the older, um, a few certain NASCAR kits that are kind of still up there in price. I'd like to get. Um, they're still a little bit up there for me to get them, and then a lot of those o older OBS Chevy kits. I always look at them. Those are a little high too. Yeah, <laughs> Boston. <laughs> If you ain't above this line, you can't join the ride. <laughs> <laughs> I hated those it's things. Him. <laughs> I just want to play in the ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. I'm Daddy, I want to ride it. Here's 25 cents. Go play on that little rocket outside. <laughs> I know. Yeah, these OBS, these older OBS kits are just way too high for me. Hey, Mike, I like, uh, put two inches beats that line. You're good, man. <laughs> like the yellow step side one. That's freaking. That's too much. Fifty dollars. Yeah. Speaking of foot, I got a question. What has five toes and is not your foot? My foot. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I've seen that video. I thought them aliens were freaking hilarious. You see, oh, God, I love those dudes. Aliens doing dad jokes. Stupid ass yeah. dad jokes, but still, you know, dad jokes are dad jokes. When the robot walks by, <laughs> she thick, and they all start fucking giggling. <laughs> that shit. I love watching those. They crack me up. I thought about recording some of that stuff and then deleting the audio and recording over it. <laughs> <laughs> Just because some, I mean, why not, right? It's, it's not like copyrighted yeah. right? that, that I know of, you know? <laughs> yeah. And it's not like guys wearing a costume because if you can get your neck that freaking tiny, I'd have a hard time strangling you. <laughs> <laughs> like trying to choke a toothpick. <laughs> that's funny. It is. <laughs> uh, that's hands down the best I've heard today. <laughs> Choke a toothpick. Yeah. I tried. It didn't work. <laughs> that's funny. I need Deadpool's baby hand. It's going to feel huge. <laughs> It's the Midwest Model Vehicle Association of St. Louis. Show Sunday, April 21st, and they also do it November 10th. In Bridgeton. Bridgeton, yeah. November 10th is my show here. See, that one's <laughs> too close to Acme for me to do both. Last year it was on the same day, actually. There's the... Uh, Categories out of box, foreign, factory stock, custom, street rod to 36, 37, 49, street machine 50 and up, pro street, comp drag door cars, non door cars, circle track, dirt cars, classic guessers, light trucks, replicas, curbside, commercial trucks over one ton, motorcycles, large scale, small scale, diorama, display only, junior class, and the same class, which is pickup trucks nice selection yeah two, two dollars two dollars an entry so i'm going to take like 10 cars at 20 bucks so they got a first and second place for each class or just it's an nnl type deal so it's like pop popularity vote right but is yeah. there a first and a second or just a first place only? Usually like I, as far as i know i haven't been there but as far as i know it's just like a top 10 type thing that's cool. I could be wrong, but that's what, I, as I understood, it was a NNL style, just top ten, and there might be they might have a best of class or best of class or some other awards, but best of show and personal choice or something of that nature, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't really worry about that stuff. I mean, if I get something, oh, I get something. Oh, yeah, you said you're not a trophy chaser, anyways. Yeah. yeah. So I said four. I got four. I don't even know where they're at. All those oh, classes yeah. and all the possibilities, they better be giving out something. Uh oh. All, all my uh, uh, medallions are all in a Ziploc bag underneath this bench. And so there's four, four blacks. I don't even know where they're at that I lost somewhere. They're somewhere in the house. Right next to that yeah, GTO badge. Bob, Mike's yep. got a the question for you. The two tokens that I got, I don't even know where they are. Mike, Mike's got a, a longer paragraph post up there in the comments section for you, Bob. He's looking for a wide body kit for the 300 GL. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye out. So I have no idea what kind of vendors they'll have there. And you never know who has what. <laughs> I have this is the yeah. first time I've gone to this this show. I've gone to the IPMS show that a lot of these same cars and stuff will be at, but and I'm assuming that a lot of the vendors will be the same too. But I don't don't know because it's in a different location because they're remodeling the community center right now. Hmm. With that many classes, it sounds like they got quite a bit of space. They're taking out one of the taking out one of the basketball courts and putting in another <coughs> hockey ice rink. Hmm. 
Wait, they're putting in a what? Ice rink. Oh. Oh, hockey rink. Yes, hockey. Ice, ice hockey. Well. No, figure skating. Hockey rink. I thought you said honky rink. And I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> There's no difference between the two. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's like a lot of them around here. They uh, they do ice in the wintertime, and in the summertime, they put the sport court on and do sport court in and do the roller hockey. Hmm. They don't want to pay the extra money to try to keep the sheet ice going when it's 110 degrees outside. Yeah, ours is in a a university gymnasium. We take up both sides. The big there's three or four big ones that stay ice all year round, but most of the other ones switch to sport court in the summertime. And we have actual arenas for ice type sports. We need to. They, they just built one, a new one. It's got three, three Olympic sheets on it, Olympic size hockey sheets with the uh, average seating between twenty five hundred and five thousand, depending on which rink. That's where the NHL team has is their practice facility now. It's where all the college teams play. Yeah, our college is all, all the big ones anyway, have their own arena. Oh, I should put this last piece of glass on this thing and call it done and get some pictures of it. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I'm like, yeah, I'll look for it. No guarantees, but I'll see what I can find. That's all. Let me type that into my phone right there. Actually, better yet, I'll take a picture of it. Um, any good size lots on eBay? Or not eBay, Marketplace. There you go. Plus, I don't know what I did, but for some reason, my Marketplace is working again. I don't know. I don't know. look for a dragster for Jonathan's group build. I don't have any. I'll get a top fuel or I might get a funny car. I don't know. You can make any car into a dragster. Yeah, I know, but I mean an actual, actual dragster kit. Back half of something. Well, I've done that lots of times. Did it like the pro steep? Jesus. I figured I'd get an actual kit, twenty car kit, or a fuel. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll give this about twenty more minutes, and then I'll shut her down. Oh. Does that mean I have to go the rest of the night without a babysitter? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> you watch YouTube videos like I'm going to do. Yeah, I got a few few tabs open waiting. Oh, where is it? Right, down, like, right down the highway from me a little bit. What's up? Stu's got a big ass collection of that. I haven't watched this week's, this week's episode of The Bad Batch, so I have to watch that. Oh, what's this? There's still a whole bunch of Mustang videos to watch. Yep, I, I got a bunch of them saved too. Yeah, I flipped through a few of those earlier. There's some real nice ones out there. Uh, I posted my video finally the other day. I was a little late on mine. I'm I'm late on all of them. <laughs> I don't ever get anything done on time. The fact that I just set the canopy on my uh, big plane is nothing short of a miracle. I'll jump in. I'll start building. Then all of a sudden, I spent most of my time helping Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> well, you still got almost two weeks to get your egg plane done, so you might make it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm still I'm still working on the. Uh, on that Pro Street Mustang build for um, 
from last year? <laughs> I started the uh, one, a car for the Fat Fender Spins and Chrome when Rob first started that, and I never did finish it. Of he opened up the rule. He opened up the rules this year to you know do whatever you want, wish whatever you want, and I still didn't finish it. <laughs> <laughs> I have commitment issues. What can I say? <laughs> rules. I had to follow. So there you go. He has a '97 Firebird Trans Am kit. Uh, sealed inside, if you want it. What? Read the chat. Nope. He's on his phone. He probably can't see the chat. Yeah, Jeff, it says it under me. Okay, I seen Jeff popped in. Uh, uh, um, uh, Edward, how much do you want for it? Edward, that's not a these days thing. That's always been a thing. It's just blatantly obvious now because there's so many ways to communicate when there weren't before. Jeff, are you just now noticing that? That's it's said that under my name for a good week now. I was in your live with it. Anyone seen Sleepy Ed? No. Not today. MIA, I guess. Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, are you just I love how you just now noticed that. Oh shit! What I do? How do I go back to chat? You motherfucker! These bots are too fucking small. Okay, there. Oh, hi, Joey. I love it. Um, shit, I don't think I'm building. Uh, YouTube's weird about emails. Otherwise, I'd put my email in the chat. Let me figure this out. Uh, as long as you have a wrench, you can type anything you want in the chat. Well, me being on here won't let me type in chat. Okay, it's plan officially complete. Uh, shit, I do this. <laughs> How do I do this? It's actually not officially complete until the video is up. <laughs> yeah, technically. But, there, yeah, you've seen it first. The build portion's over. <laughs> It can't near him. It's got a piece of ground on it. It's glued to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a piece of ground on it. <laughs> yeah, it's got foundation. You, know? you can't you can't tell that I had to repair the front end. It's got a couple blips in the paint. I got a dust bunny in it over there. And on the front I smudged it with the glue glue and the nose cone on. But yeah, I built mine with flaws in it on purpose. I, uh, I don't make a huge effort to do these because they're just basic kids. They're, I have uh, fun with them regardless of how they turn out. Joe, do you have a email? I'll hit you, I'll send you an email if you put it in chat. I can't figure out how to. I can't type in chat while I'm on here. I guess I keep trying to figure this out. But I managed. But hell yeah, man, that'd be awesome, brother. Ugly blue flowers. <laughs> yeah. Decent enough spot for them, anyway. 
Yeah, they cover up the globs of clear glue that I used to set it down on the Add, platform. Adds to the primary <laughs> colors of the red nose, the yellow wingtips, and the blue flowers, kind of. Yeah, it gives it a little bit of something. And it's hard to see on the camera because no real light, but the um, ground cover is fine ground cork. And then the secondary ground cover is lighter shade of little teeny tiny pebbles and that fuzzy loose blocking grass. All right. Got little tiny bits of green speckled through it. But yeah, I noticed how much glue I had to use to um, secure it. And while the glue was still wet, I just started shoving flowers in it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it worked. Covers, covers up the glue globs. Now I gotta get out my photo booth thingy and take clean pictures of it. Is it the whole thing, man, or does the Joe go behind it? Or is it just the front half of it? What was that? Dot com is the end of it. <laughs> okay. That said dot com Joe. And I was like, do I have to put Joe at the back behind it? No, I was here. I'm they don't do copy. that in emails. <laughs> they don't do that in emails. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! I just copied him. Okay, I'm trying to copy and paste this, so not the whole goddamn chat. <laughs> Fifty-five is a good year, Joe. <laughs> Throwing that out there. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> Although I got there a year before you. Let <laughs> <laughs> uh, go to this. <laughs> Darn Titan. Good year. You got a copy down, Jimmy? Little Ford sedan, eh? Nifty. Oh, he's bouncing. Wrong button. What the hell are suing me? Oh. I'm multiplying, guy. I'm multiplying. That's like the Hanks boss. <laughs> Quick, Good kill Lord. it before they outnumber us. <laughs> they're growing they're growing kill it before it outnumbers us man who fed it after midnight yeah Mogwai <laughs> did you get Joe's address Jimmy uh, his email yeah okay, once he streams over I'll, I'll send him an email okay I was just going to delete it so that it's not there forever yeah I got you so that random strangers don't get it. Spammers. Just so somebody's yeah, he doesn't get eight thousand emails. Oh, from I actually I got an email the other day. I posted about it on the feed. Somebody claiming that they could help you boost your SEO scores on you know your views and whatnot on YouTube. And it's like yeah, fuck you. Using a popular name of an author that I happen to know and hoisted somebody else's picture off the internet on the icon. You go to the channel and there's literally no viewers on it or you can't find it. Yeah, literally. So if we're going to try to fix, at least try to make yourself look legit. Oh, what's the cost? What does that cost you? Let me make sure I actually copied the. Okay, I did. But yeah, man, dude, that's freaking cool. Thank you, bro. I've got it in my uh, I'll you in my address book from Shop Cards, so I can get it to you too. Send Here you an email after this, brother. Thank you. I got a love for my '80s and '90s muscle cars and trucks. Let's see if you're going to beat the show on Sunday. You get to see my my '85 Firebird. What show is this? And my 2016 Firebird or 2006 Firebird. Mm -hmm. What's this show? 
It is in St. Louis. Oh. It's at the uh, Machinist Hall in Bridgeton, Missouri, which is right, right by the airport, right by Lambert Air, Lambert Field. This Sunday? Mm -hmm. Yep. WMVA Model Club. Midwest, Midwest Model Vehicles Association. Model, Model Vehicles Association. It's odd for me, too, because it's on a Sunday. I'm used to having sh shows being on Saturdays. Yeah. Yeah, all the shows I go to are on Sundays. I would have won. I didn't like call off. Nothing to do with anything. I didn't call off work soon enough. Time. When I went to call off work to go to it, four people had already called off that Sunday. So yeah, I really could. Why is it Sunday? That's not your problem. Sunday. That's their problem, Jimmy. Yeah, we tell somebody who's it is when everybody's can. called off, and it'll just be me and the manager during the morning shift. Yeah, that's Besides, usually if it's just me and Herschel. But look at the shows that are coming up. See which ones you want to attend, and get those days off. Yeah, I need if to. You have paid time. You get paid to fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, it's more than like me. I my there, event man. once a year, four days. I use my vacation time, part of my vacation time, so I get paid to fuck off for the weekend. You know, that way you're in the spot in advance and it's already approved and you don't have to be concerned. Yeah. <laughs> if you end up not going for some oddball reason or you decide not to, you still got paid for the day and took that extra money away for later. Yeah. Good night, Mike. Yeah, that's what I'm jump off here. To I gotta go. Mike was turning into a pumpkin already. Night, Mike. Damn. I gotta, go the, <laughs> I gotta go do the adult thing. I'll be. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one, there, Bruce. Night, Bruce. Thanks, Bob, for letting us all yeah, in. No problem. <laughs> Don't adult too hard. Yeah. Well, <laughs> shot, shots and needles. Awesome stuff. It, kids do that too, but for different reasons. <laughs> yeah, I do that. I did stay alive. <laughs> yeah, not everybody in the chat. Later, <laughs> not brother. See you, Bruce. Plastic kits, promos. No, I just realized you spelled it wrong. Your water will come. We ain't gonna be there at no eight thirty in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Your we come. Well, you can't even start registration until 10, so I get there to pay extra, $10 extra to get in the door at 8.30 and have to stand around until 10. I'll be done shopping in 20 minutes. I <laughs> right? That's like me. I go in, I run the gamut, I go up and down each and every row, and then I stand there in the corner by the concession stand debating which way to go first, because there's something in every direction I would consider purchasing. And unless it's something extremely unique, I'm going to walk past it the first time I go by. If it's still there when I come back, then I'll consider looking at it. Yeah, I do a speed run through on, with my mission of things I know I want to get. And if I find them, I buy them right away. And then the af later in the afternoon, like when I start doing the judging and you can't get around the cars, that's when I... Go back and, and window shop for things I might want. Yeah, you, you can't wait too long, really, at our show because there's so many shoppers. You kind of got to keep on looking around, you know, and start talking to people right away because things just start disappearing. 
And then um, like Dean Savvy headquarters, he's fully doing shows now. He's got rid of his brick and mortar store. And an hour before the show's over, he has a first percent off sale. And you want to be hovering around that booth in that time frame before they make the announcement, or you won't get anywhere near the booth. He's got like four or five table lengths of stuff. Yeah, so I'm just looking, I'll be looking for those two car kits. And then what I'll look for, since it's a car show, I'll look for airplanes. And I'll look for tanks and stuff like that. That's, that's a lot kind more. of smart. That's like trying to buy a, a lot more wheel in the summertime. Get rid of because they're not moving at the show. Yeah, exactly. You look for the, the stuff that's not really popular or stuff that you've seen that the vendors had for a long time. How do you think I got the Sarah yep. car? That guy was sitting on that for two years, three years. I looked at him. I was like, you pay crypty for it? He's like, yeah. All defeated. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, I slid is- my, I, then I slid my mask down and I winked at him. I'm like, I told you I get it from you. And then I walked away. <laughs> That's that's when you realize your thing that you thought was worth gold is only worth silver. <laughs> yep. Oh, copper. Yeah. No, but that's true. <laughs> if, they see, if they see if they see you come around, you know, two or three times, and they'll sometimes sometimes you don't have to ask them. They'll they'll offer you a deal. Certain people yeah. will, but this guy's just a dick, and he thinks everything he's got dipped in gold and platinum. Hey Edward, happy birthday! Like, like, bro, I didn't know you your money. You might want to wiggle a little. Birthday, you birthday man! With you get a, you get the snail birthday. You go with yours. Well, they suck, but you know, it's just today. Eh. Even snappy snail. I don't even get spankings or kicks for my birthday. <laughs> Let alone presents. <laughs> Night, Edward. All I get is older, and I don't want to do that, so they can keep them. <laughs> well, the city hosts a huge drunk fest on my birthday, so nobody wants to come around anyway. They want to keep as far away from town as they can. Mine is always around the time of the American Berkey Binder when there's 30,000 other freaking people from around the world here, and there's nowhere to go out to eat, nowhere to go shopping. You try to go yeah. to Walmart, you're dumb. You try to drive. You plan, you plan your vacation that weekend, you know? My vacation is yeah. a junkyard, okay? Give me eight hours and a, a camera with a digital card That's on it. That's what I'm it. saying. Plan to do something <laughs> and not be there, you know? It's February you 27th. Go. You ain't going to a junkyard. <laughs> well, Especially I mean, not I plan to do something. Not Especially not in Minnesota. Back. Yeah, it's Wisconsin. Everything in the Wisconsin, junkyard. Minnesota. Is really foot of snow. Four feet of snow, yeah. Yeah, and it's all metal. It's not like you're going to touch it. Oh, yeah, let me just lick the hood. Uh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not what I want for I birthday. I could totally see you doing that. <laughs> Ooh, it I tripled like that area. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tastes like it's rust. Salty? <laughs> I was hoping the rust would be a barrier to keep it from sticking. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there's there's a couple of junkyards around here I love just walking through with a camera and taking like art picture type of things. Just it's just oh, classic yeah. memories getting there. You know? They're reference photos. They're the one junkyard yep. in particular. It's like the fourth or fifth car in on the right side, and they're all facing the road. Not you know, so you're walking past this row of grills basically, and there's a. A 48 Buick Roadmaster sitting there with a gorgeous freaking grill on it. The rest of the car, not so good, but that nose, mm -hmm, yep. There's 4,000 pounds on American steel you never get back again. Yeah, it's not like they make body panels for it. (laughs) But yeah, it's crazy. That grill is in better condition than any of the other cars from the 90s and newer. <laughs> yeah. And they could still run and that grill's still in better condition. <laughs> yep. And 60, 70 years from now, that grill is still going to look good. Oh, that, and, my, and my guess is that car was one of the first 20 in that yard. 
where it's sitting. Probably. Because the rest near of the, the front of the property on the road, yeah. Well, the rest of the junkyard is like five city blocks deep from that point. It's like literally the fifth or sixth car right in there from the gate. And the gate is only like six cars worth of parking from the road <laughs> in yeah. a square, you know, not in a row, but in a square. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it had to have been one of the first half dozen cars in that yard because uh, everything after that just got randomly placed. Oh, just set it there for now. Well, trees grew up, and now you can't get to it, so it's stuck. <laughs> yeah. But you can tell there's some 30s, some 40s, some 50s, and early 60s cars in there. And after that, the deeper you go, you get into the 80s and 90s and the OBS and the junk stuff, you know. And you've got it a little more sorted out in the back. Oh, the hold stuff, on. It's just all buried in the trees. You can walk through about three acres of trees and see cars scattered. 80s and 90s are sexy. Not in the junkyard or not. They're right at home. <laughs> right? Oh. As soon as you brought with up the OBS, hold on now. With all their plastic and pleather instead of their vinyl and velour. Yeah, that old Buick yeah. Motormaster didn't have no Bondo in it. It was all put together with <laughs> lead. Right? He said pleather. Pleather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll take vinyl over pleather any day. <laughs> Corinthian right. leather. Yeah, there might be a Monaco or two in there. <laughs> would that, would that be like the, the Chrysler Ricardo, hey, Ricardo Montalban and, and, and his Corinthian leather? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chrysler Bear and Cape Cod. I know there's a really cool 55, 56 Cadillac hearse that's out there. I mean, it's totally roached out, gone. It wouldn't be even a starting project. But it's got some chrome trim, a couple of decent pieces of glass. You know, yeah, but all the, the all glass the and the, the shiny bits. Yeah, yeah I mean, those are actually the hardest worth, things to get. Yeah, for yeah. what it's worth, for for the parts, rather it's a hearse or not, it's still a, a, a parts car. It it would yeah. be worth it if you can get the price as parts car, but to rebuild it, no, the way the condition it's in, mm -mm, no. <laughs> Even the roof has got a tree falling on it and some other stuff, but. Where it's sitting, it just looks so cool, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, of course, it's black and oxidized and rust yeah, and light and I'd, I'd get in there, and I'd be good for about 20 minutes, and I'd be all up in my feelings and being mad and sad about all the destruction and carnage. Well, there, there the is one. Cars. <laughs> there is one that's about a block and a half in. I'm not a Mustang fan. <laughs> But there's like a 70 to 72 Gross. Mustang mock body sitting there. Ooh. And it looks like it got ran over by a bulldozer. Right? So, I mean, the only real good thing left on it is a VIN number. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but I look at it and everybody's like, yeah, that thing's junk. I look at it and say, it could be rebuilt. It's got potential. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> or if all else fails, wall art. Yeah. yeah, there's wall a couple pieces of wall art left on it. <laughs> yeah. That's what I see. That's what my buddy has. He went to a junkyard and found a bunch of cool grills off a bunch of old freaking Pontiacs or whatever they were, and he's got a bunch of old grills all up in his garage. I may have to throw a video together of this someday. I don't know if I can open it. <laughs> Oh, where would it be? Hey, even if you just do a slideshow of your still photos, that'd be cool. Yeah, it's somewhere in my real car files. TTRS should be right there. There it is. Should be a junkyard crawl in here somewhere. It, it's a long lot of freaking pictures, really. But yeah, if I ever get around to it, that would be kind of cool. Do a junkyard crawl video. Yeah. Yeah, just do it as a slide show. Put some yeah. <laughs> appropriate music to it. I don't know what I did with it. Those are car shows. Mm -hmm. oh, that's car shows. 
go. Hmm. It's gonna be in the other one. BQR. All right, good night, Boston. Yeah, we're gonna go here in about five minutes. I think. Good night, Boston. We'll let, See you, Boston. Let the picture he's looking for, and then we'll be done. No, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna show one. I gotta find okay. it. In it. I, I got way too many folders to dig through in there to find it. But I oh, thought wow. maybe I had it as a, a separate folder in my real car stuff. I got All model right. stuff, real cars, this, that, and you know. I want to thank I everybody it. that's still up in the chat, and uh, thanks for stopping in tonight. And <coughs> catch and you. Happy birthday to Jess, and uh, happy birthday, uh, Edward, and yeah. spankings to the rest of you for not telling us it was your birthday. <laughs> Meanwhile, we'll catch you all later. Uh, I'll catch you all next one. All right. Good night, everybody. See y'all. Joe, Let's if you're still in here, I'm going to email you. All right. Have a great Have night. Going, night, everybody. See ya.